Live, 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 live. It is Sunday night. I am Stu. And this is the Sunday Night Stew! Yay! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are in week three of being completely uh, in discomfort, pain, financial turmoil, mental turmoil, physical turmoil. <laughs> this is my third cast, ladies and gentlemen, for those keeping score at home, and this one has style. Yeah. <laughs> I had an option to get a pink cast, and I wanted it. Oh, why didn't? What? I wanted the pink cast. Why did you get it? I was talked out of it. That would I don't have been even awesome. own that many red items. That would have been awesome. I would have never clashed. I don't have that many red items. Week three of no shaving, folks. Look at this beard. <laughs> I am going to be ready for uh, uh, my new career as a rabbi soon enough. Nate Dog the Pimp, I'm coming for you, brother. Ooh. Your beard is weird. Somebody needs to remind me that at 10 p.m. top of the hour, it's pill time. Pill time. Shit, I don't know if I have any pill music this time. I have a question for you. Uh, Jeff, Cable Guy Jeff. Let's talk to him for a second. Cable Guy Jeff is here. Yay! Hey! Are you there, Jeff? Hi. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing, Stu? I'm good, buddy. I have a question for you. Yeah. It's more of a suggestion. I know you've got that sound uh, board that you've been using for the last couple weeks that's been... Okay, that exact sound <laughs> is the sound that I'm referring to. I feel like when I say, it's Sunday night, I am Stu, and when I smile, you should hit the ding. Okay. So I almost want to just do the intro again, new and improved. Is that cool? Okay. All right. So just start off camera. I'll start off camera. And, and then just come walking in. All right. All right. Uh, Sunday night Stu, intro, take two. Oh, the whole thing? Wait, you want me to play the whole thing again? Oh. <laughs> Gotta get this right. Good lord. Big audience here. You can't fuck around, Jeff. Oh, they can this, hear me? I didn't know this was a dress rehearsal. Don't 
movement. This song available on iTunes. Do they know that? Yes. We are live, 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 live. It is Sunday night. No. <laughs> Did you really just fuck that up? You are such a fucking idiot, man. I just made it so easy for you, buddy. I was I was great. I just did everything that I was supposed to do. I didn't miss a fucking beat. And you go and ruin the take on purpose? You sabotage that. Everyone's loving this gimmick. I, but it's not a gimmick. It's a life. This is life. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. I don't have that sound bite. <laughs> Why would you do that, man? Sorry. I wasn't at the rehearsals. I'm in, I'm in God all I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. Live, 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 live. It is Sunday night. I am Stu. And this is the Sunday Night Stew. Yay! Ned? Ned Ryerson? <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah. Well, now that we've done that, I mean, fuck. I think we've done all the entertaining <laughs> that needs to be done for the evening. There you go. Good night, everybody. Now to get to some real business. There's a few things that need to be accomplished by the end of tonight's show, and that is this. Uh, Number one. Ooh. Number one. Number one. 
Cable Guy Jeff has some sort of announcement to make. I have an announcement to make? He has a major announcement to make tonight. I do. Uh, for those of you who listen to TSM Radio this week, it is free. Free! And you should be listening to it. If you don't, uh, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> it's free. Free! the hell are you waiting for? Go to tsmradio.com. Listen to it this week. Colt Cabana does a great job co-hosting. P.S. Boom Boom Colt Cabana standing by. He will be on the show for his clips of the week this week. <laughs> Cable Guy said on the show that he had a major announcement. Major announcement. Are you? When are you planning on making this announcement? I can make it right now. I can make it right now. Well, you, is it big? Is there a drum roll required? Do you want to just bust your load right now? Or do you want to wait for Colt well, Cabana to be a part of your announcement? No, we can do this now just to you know, get it out of the way. Well, before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, a man who is here to oversee the announcement, uh, the only other person in the history of this program to have a press conference huh. with an announcement, uh, and it was on TSM Radio when he uh, had lent a few years ago, if you recall. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the preacher man, one uh, a third of the super trio, R underscore O, o underscore T, T underscore N. N. Ladies and gentlemen, young ch what? What? Black, black and, and white. white. Yeah, solar eyes. Yes. <laughs> demo, demo. Ooh, mosaic. mosaic. Woo! Leave we that, have these that. special effects today for Young Church. Uh, as I said, you can click the donation button on our website. It not only helps with the financial struggles that I have gone through, but it will get us a new uh, camera to film church. How are you, sir? <laughs> How are you, Chuchi? I'm mosaic, man. You're feeling mosaic? I'm mosaic. Is yeah. your mic on? So, yes, check. Yes. You're feeling mosaic? Yes. Well, let's talk about something right quick. This week, we put out a new song from a new project called R underscore O underscore T underscore N. Maybe we should change the actual thing to that instead of periods. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Twitter page, right? Yes, it's at all of that, but it's R-O-T-N. Yeah, R-O-T-N. Yes. So basically, R-O-T-N has a new album that is coming out, and the big news about that is that it is free. Free! Absolutely free. Cable. Free. Uh, but a little teaser, a little something to dip a toe in the water, a little something to, uh, I don't know if I'm ready to jump in the pool yet, let's stick our toes in. Something that's like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to drink this whole drink that uh, Kimbo Slice just poured for me. Maybe I should take a swig first. A little uh. sip. A bissel. It's a little strong, a Kimbo. Bissel. Can you top it off with some Red Bull? Drink it. <laughs> True story. True story. So R O T N, yes. We on some next shit. Go yeah. to the party. We ain't even on a guest list. Um, you should have them on sometime, man. As guests. So <laughs> did, uh, all these people that are watching right now, if they want to check it out and get it right now, they can download this song for free. Yes. Right now. Yes. So we how have do they one do that? Song. I mean, we we're not launching. We just have like one little song out there on SoundCloud right now. You can look up. Uh, the song is called Skipping Class. The group is R O T N. Um, and yeah, there's a clean and a dirty version. I recommend the dirty, 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 <laughs> the dirty South. Um, and yeah, it's it's cool. We're getting a good response so far. And Big it, Cat just wrote in the uh, chat room that she has a pocket full of dro, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got a nose full. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, check it out. Um, share it. You know, retweet it. Follow us on Twitter at r underscore o underscore t underscore, underscore n. n. The thing about R O T N and and herpes, there's something very similar because sharing is caring in both senses. And so they're both catchy as fuck. They're both catchy as fuck. <laughs> they both make you itch. And both of them make you uncomfortable for at least eight days a month, from what I understand. That is not a true story. That is the Kimbo <laughs> story true. This last one, don't slap me with that. Jesus. Off to an auspicious start here. On the Sunday night stew, R O T N. We on some next shit. Go to the party. We ain't even on the guest list. <laughs> uh, yeah, lots of stuff to come soon on that, but you can get a taste on SoundCloud and on Twitter for now.
you know. For now, don't sound too excited, our church. Come on, man, ROTM. It's really exciting. Oh my god! Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Wait, Cable, can you do the intro over again? And I'm gonna <laughs> light my glasses. And when I say R underscore every underscore, I want to dang. I want to be like, oh, he could do that for you. R underscore <laughs> O underscore T underscore N. Yeah, I like the extra one. Spattering of applause. So, yeah, um, everything's good. Uh, I'll tell you uh, what. On this week's TSM Radio, we have the song play on there as well, Church. Is that right? Yes. and uh, With, Like Heat of the Week or yes, what? Yes, 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 definitely. Who, who played uh, the Heat of the Week if uh, I wasn't there? Well, you know, our next guest on the show, Colt Boom Boom Cabana, might be able to help you out uh, to answer that, Young Church. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys need to listen to the show this week. I'm telling you, uh, it's hilarious. A lot of you watching right now are mentioned by name on every show. I mean, literally, TSM Radio is an extension of this. It's an extension of this. It's really this was an extension of that. This is a spinoff show. Is it ten o'clock? This is a more yet? successful spinoff show, like The Simpsons. Is it ten o'clock yet? <laughs> this is like The Simpsons. Is it ten yeah, o'clock? TSM yet? No. is the Tracy Omen show. Uh, we had some sent in from our viewer, uh, one of our viewers that I wanted to show. Uh, I believe uh, this is the first. This is the first time this has ever been sent in anything like this. But uh, a lot of you may or may not know, I do have an album out on iTunes that is not for free. Not for free. No, you're supposed to say free. <laughs> this album that is on iTunes is not free. Not free. No, you say yes. free. Just free. <laughs> you free. do the free. Whenever you hear the word free, you do it your normal way. Don't you uh, understand? Uh, fine. Okay. Let's take that again. All right. There's an album on iTunes that is not for free. Free! Yeah. See, it's much funnier that way. <laughs> I need a job as a writer for anyone that has a comedy program, a variety hour. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, oh yeah. Some video? Uh, there's a video that was sent in by a, a viewer. Before we get to that, I do want to say, though, we have been having some sort of fundraiser here, and I do appreciate the, the generous uh, funds that have been donated thus far to people who have gone to SundayNightStew.com and TSMRadio.com. And they clicked the donate button. So far, I got to be, I hope this woman is watching today. Is she even in here today? There's someone that made a super, super duper generous uh, donation, and I want, I'm going to send her some stuff personally. But uh, thank you, guys. I've raised a total of, in three weeks, this is week three of the fundraiser, we've raised an incredible... $75. Yes. $75. So it's cool. We are just $16,974 <laughs> shy of our goal, but we are going to get there and we feel determined. Yeah. Jesus. All right, we're going to play this thing that was what sent video in by. Is it? Oh, first of all, Airhorn goes out to the lovely Tina Keys. <laughs> What video are you talking about? She sent in a huge donation, and I appreciate it, and she's going to get hooked up. Uh, we had a viewer that watched the show and got that album that's on iTunes that isn't free. Free. <laughs> and uh, it's a song called Fake with the Funk, and this guy put his own little twist on it. Uh, I was pretty impressed. I thought it was cool. And uh, let's share it, shall we? Do you have the video? I think so. Hold on. You think so? I All think right. this is it. All right. All right, guys, check check this out. This is pretty cool. Don't play with a 
So big round of applause right here. Fantastic job. Very cool. Very cool. Very impressive. Thank you. Jeff, you anything you want to say to the gentleman who sent that in? I was impressed. Very impressive. Cool. Glad we got that out of the way. As a matter of fact, uh, how long was that video, by the way? I think the whole video is like three minutes. And it's on YouTube, right? Tell yes. people how they can find it, because uh, I'm looking up something here. Uh, I think it was just search Stu Stone and Fake with the Funk. So that's like the new... Yeah, fake, it's a new video. The new big Fake with the Funk video? Yes. That's the one, huh? Well, I want to give a shout out to Josh. Josh Carden. That's the gentleman who did that video. Thanks, bud. When we come back, Colt Boom Boom Cabana will be here to do his clips of the week. What's happening next? You better work. You better work. Can you turn me up? Hello? I can hear you fine. I, don't I know can't. Turn me up. You're uh, fine. Hello? Hello? Jesus. Is it me you're looking for? Uh... The best part about that last video that you just played, <laughs> Jeff. Yes. If I could just pick just one thing that is the best part about you playing that last video is that just watching Nate Dog the Pimp watch that video, <laughs> kind of like he just had this look of bewilderment on his face and he was just kind of mesmerized by what he saw on the screen. <laughs> and, you know, I, kinda, I know I kind of look like him nowadays. We're kind of like brothers from another mother. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I was more watching him watch the video. Then I was watching RuPaul sing the song. I mean, RuPaul, he, she, he, she shim, is a very sh good shim, entertainer. Shim. She, he. Shim. It's spelt S-H-E, but the H is highly pronounced. It's like, sh he. Shim. Sh he. Shim. Stop saying shim. It's, it's shim my joke, there. not yours. Fine, whatever. It's not the fucking Sunday Night Cable. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what the name of that last song was, right? Yeah. Uh, it was called uh, You Better Work. And uh, the person that has surprised me right now, uh, who is called into the show, uh, that wants to talk to me right now, it's something that this next caller always says to me, You Better Work. Uh, I try. It's tough. It's a hard biz. Is it 10 o'clock yet? Is it ten? No, it's not 10 yet. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show the lovely, the beautiful, the talented, the very, very vivacious, Whoa. the mesmerizing. Vivacious. And all the other words that Joe Reaver could use to describe his girlfriend of two weeks that he already says I love you to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my mother, Trudy. Hi. Hello, mother. How are you? Hello, mother. Ding, ding. Hello, mother. Did, did, did. Hello, mother. Mother, mother. Well, you don't know the lyrics, do you? Nice diamond. Ooh, look at the bling. Damn. Cha ching She getting crazy. Hey, She's come cray. on now. That's cray. Damn, busting out the diamonds for your appearance tonight. How are you, Trudy? I thought Good. you lost that thing. You got it back? Stewart. Yes. Why are you growing that beard? You don't like the beard, huh? Ugh. I've been oh, you look I, dirty. I have mixed reactions on this beard. A lot of the ladies think that it's yeah, quite sexy. Are you grooming it at least? Grooming <laughs> nothing. I am a rugged mountain man. Have you seen 120 fucking seven hours? Part of my language, mom. Part of my language. I just slipped out. I forgot who was on the phone. Have you seen that movie <laughs> with the guy who gets his leg cut off or his arm or one of those things and he has to saw it off? That's me. I'm just as yeah, talented. I'm just as handsome. This, and I'm just as eligible. Space, 
You have this space in your chin. I, it's from getting hit with a hockey stick as a minor by you. No, I'm just kidding. But it was by <laughs> another <laughs> hockey player when I played hockey at school. Boom. Right there. Okay. That's to remind me. There is always something there to remind me. Listen, I have a few things I'd like to discuss with you tonight. Of that oh. hockey game when I was in grade school. Were you saying something, Mom? Yes. Yes. I have a couple things I'd like to discuss with you tonight. Sure. I stayed up on purpose. Oh, really? One was about cable. Oh, something about cable? And one is about you. Something is about me. All right, well, let's take a vote in our chat room and get live and interactive oh, as the folks in Hollywood, see. they call it. They love this show because they love the interactivity that we have. Uh, here is an example of that. Uh, we'll go to the chat room right now. If you'd like to hear my mom's queer e about sure. Cable Guy Jeff, press 1. If you'd like to hear my mother's queer e about Stu Stone, press 2. See, 1, a lot of 1s. 2, we got some 2s. Well, L. Alexandra wants 1, so let's just go with 1. Wow. So 1 is Jeff. Yes, 1 is Cable Guy Jeff. You had a queer e about Cable Guy Jeff? Yes. Uh, what was that? How many times do I send in things to Jeff and he never either reads them or plays them or communicates with you that I've done something really nice for the show? Uh, so you're saying that Cable Guy Jeff is the Clarence Obama of video uh, receiving and sending videos? Ask him. Cable, why are Ask you disrespecting you my mom? I don't mean, like, you know what? You know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll take it from here, mom. I'll take it from here, mom. Jeff, this is not the first time that we've had this conversation. If my mother sends you videos, that's my mom. That's not like it's uh, G-Man sending you in a video. It's my mom. She's sending in a video because she wants you to see it. You follow me? Yes, I'm listening. So, I mean, are you going to apologize to her? It's my mother for crying out loud. I am sorry. I just, like, it gets piled up in, uh, you know, under all the emails that I get every day. Uh, there's two more people that want to see you apologize to my mother right now. And one of them is Eli the Creeper Eyes. He wants to see you apologize. He's here. And another man that wants to see you apologize is Justin Trugman. Justin Trugman is here. And he wants you to apologize. <laughs> All of these people want wow. you to apologize to my mother. You make them sick. <laughs> <laughs> so please look those pearly blue eyes of yours, Jeff. Do you have blue eyes? No, no, they're hazel. Hazel. <laughs> I've got hazel eyes. You know, they, well, say that into the microphone, Eli. What are you saying? Turn on your microphone also. You know what they say about a man with hazel eyes. What do they say about a man with hazel eyes? Huge vagina. <laughs> Cable's a big pussy. Oh. All right, Cable, what yes. do you want to say to my mother right now? Uh, Trudy, I'm sorry. Yes. I, I'm sorry. Just got, you know, piled under all the emails that I get every day. Usually piles are in assholes. <laughs> <laughs> She's really letting you have it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeff, can you try a little harder? And when you, know you say, I, you and when what? you say, and when you say, it's Trudy, and then wait for her to respond to you before you just bu bu like bust into your apology, make it sincere. I don't go have any sincere music. Go ahead, Jeff. I don't need music. This is not a shtick. This is my mother, and you're apologizing to her. Go ahead, Trudy. I truly. In can you wait for her to? When you say Trudy, can you give a pause for her to say yes, so that you know that she's paying attention to you? Because okay, you can't okay. just. Go, it's not a running sentence. There's punctuation <laughs> in an apology. <laughs> All right, Jeff, go ahead. Trudy? Yes, Jeff? Now, you should also have cut to her when she said yes, Jeff. Let's take this again. <laughs> <laughs> We're not laughing here, Jeff. This is serious business. You've offended my mother for the last time. Jeff, go ahead. You have something you want to say? Trudy? Yes, Jeffrey? I truly... I am deeply sorry that I haven't played your videos. You know, if your eyes were brown, I'd say you're full of shit. But since they're hazel, they're only half. Uh, so you half believe him. Yeah. What can he do to make it up to you, Mom? Well, tell him to find that goddamn video that <laughs> I sent in and tell him to start playing them. 
I see where Stu gets it now. You are very <laughs> funny, Trudy. <laughs> Tell him to find that. <laughs> she's pissed off. I've never heard her drop a GT around here. <laughs> Man, she's That's impossible. Business. I send things in. He never says a said tells you that I have an email. He never tells you I have videos, and I think they're pretty good. Even though, Stuart, you delete all my emails that I sent you without you even reading well, them. Maybe if you change the title of the email so it doesn't say f forward, funny parrots in Jewish history, <laughs> then I, maybe I wouldn't open it. Maybe you should change it to Stuart, open this, See, that could and be, receive a prize. My, maybe we just, that's why it fell in my spam folder. Forward. Okay. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious Jewish words that describe... Sewing. Stuart, do you have to take a pill? It's not 10 o'clock yet. Oh, it's not 10 yet. Okay. We're almost there. Jeff, do you have the video? I have a video, Trudy. I do. So for there real? is a video right now? We have a Trudy video. Said, I've given him enough time to look for it to make up. So uh, did he find it? I found it. You found it? Can you introduce your video, Mom? I hope it's as funny as I think it is. All right. Well, we'll find out right now. <laughs> okay. Roll it. Ooh, that one was, that was not funny. Jesus. Oh. Oh my God. I have a few things that I need to say. I loved it. Look at you laughing at your own material. <laughs> Here's what I want to say about that. First of all, I, I appreciate the effort, but you know, you could have just turned on America's Funniest Home Videos and watched that montage because it looked like it came from like one of those shows. But I do want to say this. There was some moments in there, but I want to say this, and I challenge Cable Guy. I don't know if he can pull this off on the spot, but th th that, that was like a funny, hilarious clip because of the funny... The funny Talking head song, it's a very warm and inviting music with laugh track and all that going off when, when people are falling. But you're actually seeing some very serious incidents of senior citizens getting hurt. And I challenge Cable that if he played some scary dark music and showed those clips, you would, you would view that clip in a whole different way. It would be sad and tragic, Mom. It would be sad and tragic and there's nothing funny about laughing at sad and tragic things. Those are seniors falling down and breaking their hips, falling in the water, <laughs> breaking their arms. <laughs> Like getting injured, and they're seeing. I, I'm a young guy, at 43 years of age, and I broke my arm and my wrist and my hand, and I feel terrible. I would feel awful if a senior citizen was going through what I was going through. And here you are sending in these videos to Jeff. No wonder he didn't play your video. Wow. Maybe you should apologize to Jeff. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say I was just playing devil's advocate there. Yeah, okay. Nice. Because because of the interactivity that we feature on the show, we'll leave it up to the chat room to determine uh, whether your video was cruel and unusual or <laughs> hilarious and worth it. If you loved my mom's video, press one. If you thought that it was evil, press two. Let's see. Thank you. All right. Well, they loved your video. So what the Thank fuck you. do I know? Part of my language again. Wow. Okay, Stuart. Now can I have my turn with you? Yes. Okay. So, you need a pill? Yes. It's not yet. Is it pill time? Oh, look at who! Whoa! What's going on whoa, there? Whoa! 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 What the? F <laughs> what the? What's going on with you? You got all these pills? What's going on? What happened? Are you on pills right now? Are you one of those mothers that lives vicariously through his son's problems? 
You think you're the only? You think you're the only one on pills? Why? What happened? Somebody said it's a party. <laughs> <laughs> It's a party? Are we having a party right now? Because I'll party with you, Mom. I'll party. Well, can't you tell that I'm still a little swollen? Yeah, my mom did have uh, sur <laughs> wow. she, she had surgery uh, just two days ago also. So uh, yep. she's on. Do you want to do you want do you want to take a pill, Mom, with me? Would you like to do this together? I took my pill at 10 o'clock here. Oh, so you're good to go. I'm on the same time you are. Oh, so you're ready to go. <laughs> Well, we got two minutes, Mom. Let me let me crack it open. Jeff, do you have any pill-taking family fun music? What do you have beside your water? I'm gonna I'm gonna crack open a pill. I'll do the maracas. Ready? You take your pill, and I'll do the maracas. All right, it's officially happened. My mother has lost it. She is playing the maracas with pill bottles to move it on up. A man that is here to sing and dance along for all the fun. Ladies and gentlemen, the returning Clarence Obama. See, everybody came for the party. Clarence Obama, turn on your microphone there, oh, there sir. there we go, there we go. Clarence Obama, welcome back to the Sunday Night Stew. <laughs> What's up, Stu? Thank you. How thank are you? you? Just all these surprises. Just. <laughs> I know, I walk in the studio and I, all these faces I haven't seen in a while. It's, it's great. Clarence Obama's here, and uh, we're one minute away uh, from uh, the biggest moment of my day. Ooh. We are, it's counting down. It's, it's countdown time. I'm going to start the countdown now. 20, 19, 18. It's a little ambitious to start at 20 when you want people to count along. <laughs> Let's just go with 10, 9, 8, 7, go to zero. 6, 5, 4, 3, dos, uno. It's pill time. You're going to do your so own while music? you're taking your pill, can I tell you something? Stuart, can I talk? <laughs> First of all, you were always better at taking pills than you were at liquid. Uh, and you know, uh, you know that uh, 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 rectally was preferred. What? Call Rectal those, pills? What do you call those things? Uh, uh, suppositories? No. Uh, oh, no. Re rectal. Yeah. That's a like a pill you stick in your tuch. <laughs> right. All right. That's a suppository. Yeah, Eli likes to put uh, uh, vicos in his tuchus. <laughs> Stuart. Yes. Can I give you a suggestion? You could give me a suggestion. You should make some videos of how to get dressed with one hand oh. and teach people how to put pants on and shirts. That's not a bad idea. And and you can put them up on YouTube because you're going to be a professional by that time. That's a good that's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Anyways, I gotta go to bed. All right. It's been really nice chatting with you. Thank you. You too. My flight is booked for Mother's Day. Ooh. So you're gonna be here. I don't know if we're gonna be getting in the ring and boxing this year, but if you uh, no. don't watch your mouth, you never know. No. Nope. But I will be making brisket dinner. Okay. Ooh. And if they want a schnitzel dinner, I can do that too. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I have one last thing that I need to go over with you. Um, I was going to save this for a little bit, but uh, we've made a decision, uh, an unfortunate decision about the show, and it's going to affect your life, and it's going to affect everybody's life in a major way. I uh, can't phone in anymore? <laughs> no. Uh, due to uh, you know recent budget cutbacks and uh, unfortunate incidents that have taken place, uh, we are going to have to scale down our, our award show this year, unfortunately. Uh, meaning that it won't be uh, a big gala event, but uh, that is th that is uh, bad news for this year. Uh, but the good news is is that it will happen in two weeks' time on this show, a special Very nice. a special episode, 
and uh, we will have uh, presenters like you uh, presenting awards. It will be the first ever interactive coast-to-coast -coast worldwide presenters from all over the world presenting awards. We have people like Holland, people from Holland. Japan. Uh, we have all sorts of entertaining and charismatic viewers that can be on this screen presenting awards. We'll write little scripts. We'll have our With own award show. Like Skypeathon? Like a Skypeathon, except with a cooler name and way better everything else than that <laughs> idea. Okay. <laughs> Should I bring my pills? Uh, oh, yeah. Think, hopefully up. by then we'll be done with the pills. But uh, if, you guys wanna be, if you guys want to be presenters on the first ever award show of its kind, uh, hit us up. We're looking for people. <laughs> the gyms of the world. The Nate dogs of the world. The big cats of the world. Who's out there with any charisma? That wants to present awards for categories that uh, the voting will close next Sunday. It's official. Two weeks from today. Eli the Creep, I'm going to try to convince him to play the keys. So we can have... You're not going to be here in two weeks? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In two weeks with the awards. You can play a little keys while I'm here singing and stuff. Okay. Can I say goodnight? Yeah, please. Give some shout outs. Shout out, first of all, shout out to Justin Trugman. I haven't seen him in ages. Nice. Doesn't he look great? Look at him. Look at him. Give him the mic for a second. He has the slim down version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The P90X version. J uh, Justin, uh, between Justin and Joe, uh, we've got two new people. Justin is a, he runs up mountains. He yeah, sprints yeah. up mountains and tackles cougars. Wow. <laughs> Cougars as in the kind Eli likes? Yes. Yes. Actually, between <laughs> what's older than a cougar? A puma. A panther. A panther. Okay. A saber-toothed tiger. Snow <laughs> leopard. A snow leopard. Uh, all right. Well, Mom, uh, okay. happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Love you all. So your mom, only shout-out is for Justin Trugman. Thank no, you. No. He's just telling me goodbye. Then Eli and Church. <laughs> Jeff, I love you still. Oh, thank you. Haruka. Oh, and Clarence Obama. Hi, Trudy. Miss you. <laughs> all the people and the fans. And most of all, you, Stuart. Thank you. Aww. Shout out to you as well, Mom. Okay. Love you. I uh, love you too. And uh, Colt Cabana is coming up next. Tell Colt I'm sorry. I'll tell Colt your story. <laughs> okay, bye. Stu Stone, ladies and gentlemen, and it is the Sunday Night Stew. It is live, 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 live. Please welcome back to the show a very good friend of ours. He is from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, he is a, uh, a regular contributor, cast member, and uh, contractually obligated to appear here <laughs> at least 47 <laughs> times a year. Please welcome Colt. Boom Boom Cabana. It's Colt Cabana. Can someone look at that contract for me? Say what? Should I get somebody else to look at that contract for me? Which one? Oh, the one. no, I got you, but I got you, babe. You good? I got you. Stu's got you. Thanks, bud. <laughs> uh, Colt Boom Boom Cabana. My man. How are you, sir? Good. Uh, again, my connection's bad over here, or maybe it's somebody else's. I don't know. But you are crystal. Cl you are crystal Pepsi here, my friend. What? Well, no, I'm saying uh, the Skype is great, but my connection through stick cam's awful. So, what was the big um, announcement from Jeff? Uh, he hasn't made it yet. Uh, ironically, so I, I think it's great that you, Colt Boom Boom Cabana of ColtMerch.com of WeLoveColt.com of the Art of Wrestling Podcast. Podcast. The number one pad cast on the planet. Facts. Absolutely free. Whee! Jeff, you like TSM this week? I did. You guys did a great job. I enjoyed. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it very much. What's been the feedback, buddy? Great feedback. Everyone loved it, you, especially because hey, you're on it, Colt. Who the fuck was that back there? Clarence Obama. Hey. Hey, what's up, Colt? Am I a? Back in <laughs> Now that's what I want to know, Colt. This is like our. This is you know. This is our our big initiative these days to show the folks watching, the potential investors, 
uh, our interactivity. <sighs> uh, folks, this is like choose your own adventure right here. Oh, God. Press 1 if you'd like Colt to finish his query about Cable Guy Jeff's announcement. <laughs> or press 2 if you'd like to hear Colt banter to find out what's been going on with Clarence Obama. So those are both very two very major hot button topics. Uh, Cole Cabana interacting with either of those gentlemen on either of those <laughs> topics will be hella entertaining. Wow, a lot of twos. It looks like we've got a lot of twos. Cable's announcement will have to wait. Oh, man. Wait, is this, is this, is this fact? Clarence Obama. I want to know what's up with Cole. <laughs> Obama. Uh, Obama, MIA. Oh, first of all, in Chicago and not call, giving me a call? Okay, this is coming from a guy who doesn't acknowledge his tweets that he gets from uh, occasionally from myself. Trying to figure this out. So, did, did you have Twitter? Uh, oh, see, look at that. Not even acknowledging that I have Twitter. Look at this. Come on. You even now. have Twitter? At Clarence underscore Obama. Get with the game, no, Colt. Get I, with the game. 60, my 68,000 followers sometimes. Oh, they oh have rub, okay. Stuff, you know? And how many of those do you actually acknowledge? Ooh. Definitely not Chris Pranks. At Chris Pranks. Wow. At least you know his Twitter handle. At least you know he has a Twitter. I'm like Cole, lower than Chris Pranks. Hey, right hey now. listen, Cole only has enough room in his life for one Twitter person to remember with an underscore, uh, and that's R underscore O underscore T underscore N. Oh, by the way, a lot of followers. I just looked. <laughs> yeah, it's very impressive. I Thank was, you. Thank I was you. impressed with that. I like that SoundCloud. I Thank like you. That SoundCloud. It's going well. <laughs> It's going well. Did Church, my, did Church hear my impression on TSM this week? He did. Now that's <laughs> you. You didn't even hear it yet. Uh, I haven't heard it you yet. Heard I heard about it. I heard it spot on. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, but, uh, like I'm, you can hear the Herald's hot sauce in the voice. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting a lot of issues. Jeff, it's <laughs> fucking happening. Clarence Obama has been gone from the show. You missed a lot, Clarence. Slow Jam Cam got fired last week by Big Cat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, uh, Wait, deja vu? Yeah, Big Cat fired, uh, Big Cat fired uh, Slow Jam Cam from the program you're, last you're week. Is she on the board now? Whoa, I'm so... What, what? Uh, she had the power to do so last week. I've been on pills lately. You've been missing that. <laughs> so my judgment has been a bit cloudy these days. What? But uh, I will uh, say this. I, wow. Uh, Big Cat fired your buddy, Slow Jam Kim. Did, did, what did he do to deserve it so swiftly? I didn't see this coming. I mean, it's, it's not even Run. worth getting into a recap. Wow. I'm, wow, I'm shocked. Run. So Run. who took his place Run. then? Wait, what are you saying, Colt? He asked what he did, and Is I it said a wellness? Drugs. You're saying it's a wellness suspension? <laughs> I think he's like, yeah, he broke the wellness policy. Violation. Wow. Mega. Hella violations. <laughs> Hella. <laughs> huge, 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 huge violations. <laughs> He's here in spirit. Uh, Cam will be missed. Uh, hopefully, he can clean him, clean himself up. Go get some help that he needs, that he desperately needs. He's he's in rehab right now. Hopefully, in six months, he'll be out. Oh wow! Well, if you if you hear of, if you hear from him, send him my condolences and my well wishes to him. He's only allowed. He's not allowed access to his phone, internet, nothing. We can send him a card if we want. Oh, okay. To uh, and please send it care of. Get well, Matilda. Where's <laughs> he of Stanford, Connecticut? Jeez. Blah 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 blah, Colt. Do Yo. you have any questions for Clarence Obama other than the Chicago, or we? That's all you wanted to know. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Are you now uh, producing tours all over the world? Yeah, where I'm not been? producing any. Oh, I'm not producing tours. Where, no, where I leave that. Been? I leave that to Clarence. To hot has, dog. Clarence has been jet setting, limousine driving. No limousine driving. More like tour bus with like stinky like. No, it's not not the life. Like sleeping on a How bus. Did you pick up this game. Yeah, what the fuck? What is going on, Clarence? Where have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, I went to Cleveland. I went to Kentucky. I went to Chicago. I went to. I'm going back to Cleveland, or I'm going to Cincinnati soon. What are you doing? You're like uh, I went on a Clarence Obama book tour. Maybe it's like <laughs> maybe it's like that movie Almost Famous. It's my tell all. It's my tell all about my uncle. What's no, going on? What are you on the campaign trail? What's going? What are you doing? Uh, I wish I'm trying is to get this, on Are you doing, like? Are you a male escort now? And you're flying <laughs> city to city, fucking broads. <laughs> Stu, Stu, that's late night. Let's. It's still a little early for that. Uh, it's ten twenty where I sit. Uh yeah yeah well actually jet setting would be I mean you Chicago got a new it, it makes sense all of a sudden you 12, got a, all of a sudden you got a new car you got a shiny new Uncle Barack T-shirt <laughs> it is a little spooky, your, your yeah. shirt's looking like it's got extra starch in it today it's a little crispy yeah it is a little crispy like bacon yeah but uh, so no. what have you been doing please uh, <laughs> uh I I basically shoot video for the the anticipation tour and what's the anticipation tour for people uh, that don't know. <laughs> 
Uh, Trey Song started a tour about two weeks ago and uh, kind of started in Cleveland. Right now they're in Oakland. It's going to go to Canada uh, next Tuesday. That's why I'm here. I'm actually trying to clear up my paperwork, try to get my uh, – my passport situated. So you don't I have go. a passport? No, I had a passport last time I went, but I went to Canada for a day last time to go see a Laker game. Long story, but I can't find it now. So I need to figure out a quick way, like in the next week, to get my passport cleared. And you and Trey Songs are buddies? No, no, no. Actually, I'm not. Like, Trey Songs, I, I haven't known him, and I, I, this is my first time actually meeting him and, like, hanging out with him, I guess you could say. Uh, I Big Sean is actually the one who... Him and, and his people, Pat Pat Piff, what's up? Uh, they all actually uh, kind of caught me last year. Uh, ch- what's his name? Uh, church. Shut church up. Church was at a show that kind of everything happened. Uh, there was some stuff, what? and Church bounced early. But that night, uh, stuff happened, and I shot video, and one thing led to another. And, yeah, I don't know. Um, that's what happens. You were in the right place at the right time. That, honestly, that's all it was. My boy basically – my boy opened up for Big Sean a year and a half ago. Sean was like – considered a nobody he had a couple mixtapes but he wasn't really anybody next thing you know uh things started picking up with him next thing you know he dropped his album finally after like two years of waiting and i mean this is what i want to say people it's your fault i mean you give the fans the interactivity and it fucks up the show we could have heard cable's announcement and now we have to hear the fucking tour itinerary <laughs> this for guy. songs and big sean and some fucking story this about guy like, this one time i fucking know like ah no, hey, you always say this. You always talk shit about me with this, but still, that's that's Sorry, what it Clarence, is. So, Clarence, go really, ahead. Was, so that's all it was. It was yes. just I shoot video for it. That's that. I have a deal. I have to shoot this content. It's not. It's. I Are we gonna get to see any of this stuff? Uh, f- hopefully, I'm. It's, I'm supposed to. I get credit. I get to put it on my resume. So, I mean, I it gets to go on Good Music's website. Hopefully, I'm praying. And we can see it and put it on here. Uh, I don't know about that because a lot of it is copywritten and some of it is is not friendly for. What do you? Are you shooting people? getting blowjobs <laughs> no 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 I, i'm not that close with them no not so at are, all. You, are you stacking paper uh i'm trying to i'm just trying to stay on my grind man i need to stay busy i need a i need positive influences to keep me motivated cable so. guy jeff very positive influence fact. Uh, f- yeah i'm here because of cable so that's i mean a fact as well so yeah, oh god course. that's all we need is for cable to think he like did something <laughs> all cable <laughs> needs is more credit for st- i did that Oh, you see that chair you're sitting in? I put it there. Last time I checked, though, pretty much everything that has, ah. like, a, anything that that's up lately has a Cable Guy Jeff production. So, oh, I mean, yeah, he's been sneaking that in lately. I noticed that. Don't think I haven't noticed that either, Jeff. I know what you're up to. I see what you're up to. <laughs> no, but Colt, seriously, I was only in Chicago. Colt, I was only in Chicago for about a day. I was freezing my balls off. Uh-huh. It was like 10 degrees. I got I had five hours of free time. I went to Tavern on Rush. Did you take a five-hour energy? Because that would have been perfect. You had five hours of free time, <laughs> a five-hour energy. No, I actually uh, I broke. I hadn't had an energy drink in almost a year, and I broke down and had three that day. Three? Yeah. It, Damn. I Honestly, tour life is, is, is like ridiculous. Tour like, life. I, Hashtag tour life. The Clarence Obama story. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's ridiculous. Honestly, I don't know how they do it, like performing and doing it. Here Look I am just Cole holding Cabana a camera. Look with his professional shelves on the side there. It's a little merch and <laughs> a little merch empire going on there. Look at Just that. A little, that's that's a lot. Damn, you're that's running out of smalls. That's how you run in your <laughs> store. I see it. Running out of smalls there on the uh, iHeart Colt. Coltmerch.com. Uh, Clarence, I think you and and Colt should talk in private about the the rest of what Colt wants to ask you. Oh, absolutely. I'm curious what Cable's announcement is. I'm a little worried. Last time he had an announcement, I think he had a baby, so I'm a little worried. Spoiler, I really hope that that's not the announcement. If it does, how awkward will it be when we all clap? <laughs> <laughs> My heart's breaking on the inside. Uh, well, let's do your clips of the week, uh, Colt Cabana. Clarence, welcome back to the show. We I look forward to. to some tour stories on TSM Radio if you're around. You're not busy touring. Uh, right? I, Hashtag tour life. No, no, no. I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'm going to Detroit on th- Thursday, but I'll, yeah, I'll be here. It's Tuesday. All right, well, I'll get in touch with your people. Yeah. This guy, people. I can't afford that. Yeah. Only Colt can. No, not Colt. Look at all that merch over there. Yeah, it's, see, it's all there. It's not It's not sold. It's a restock. <laughs> it's not a restock. Uh, Colt Boom Boom Cabana, you got clips of the week each and every week on this show. I know you're a big Justin Trugman fan. Uh, he gets to see you do it live right now. This is like, you know, two icons of their industry getting to see each other do their thing. I'm also a fan of a different Trugman. Yes, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, don't do it. <laughs> now, now, what is the clip? Doesn't now, start with a J. Yes, stop. Now, <laughs> we have clips of the week, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right. <laughs> now Truckman's saying, what the fuck is he talking about? What? Now, <laughs> you've, now you're gonna, you got to stop. Justin, Trugs. listen to TSM radio more often. Trugs, I know a different Trugman. There's a, there's a, <laughs> yeah, don't play games with his heart. <laughs> I know many a Trugman's. Uh, anyway. Sounds like a Backstreet. Uh, yeah. Colt, what are your clips this week, Cable? Tell us what we're playing for. Uh, we are playing for uh, news, news fuck-ups. News fuck-ups. Yes, yeah, so we'll say news fuck-ups. Kind of like the fuck-up that you did because I never saw that other bit that we had talked about. Oof. Which, which other bit? Uh, don't you remember? Oh, off the air, boys. Off the air. I, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... Yeah. Maybe you're the one that needs to go to rehab, Cable. He said no, no, no. A news material right there. Uh, today Our... we're playing for uh, news fuck-ups. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. I'm ready when you are. Well, oh. how many how many news fuck ups do you have uh, for us, Cable? We got four. 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 Woo. Four. Four. All right. Uh, let's take a look at clip number one. Click on Fox Five Sky Guardian and then check that seven day to make your weekend like plans. It. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. I guess that's me. <laughs> Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do All that. All right, when we continue, the law symbol has found <laughs> lots of... Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. All right, when we continue... Keep fucking that chicken. Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> I want to know what they were talking about. Keep fucking that chicken head. Is that code? Is that <laughs> code talk between news people of like hoes or something like that? Hoes? Chickens? Keep fucking them chickens. They're getting hit with the with the rap lingo, you know, chicken head. Colt Cabana, your thoughts on what you just saw? Is it a good news? stuff? That was good like stuff. It. You liked it. That's my official uh, answer. All right, let's take a look at uh, news fuck up number two. I know a Trugman that would like to. And the battle for the White House from two of our favorite analysts, Roland Martin. Well, I don't know I'm going to go favorite there. CNN political analyst and Obama You supporter. know you love me, Kara. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least Leslie Sanchez, Republican strategist and CNN political con con contributor, is always on time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Barely. Leslie. Yeah. I ran here. I uh, ran here. You love me, Kara. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least Leslie Sanchez, Republican strategist and CNN political con con contributor, is always on time. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. That was pretty, uh... Cut, cut. Remix. Yeah. That was pretty good. Your thoughts on that, Boom Boom? Um, you know, not all women are cunts, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure that Sanchez lady was a nice woman. She's a Republican. Right. Yeah. So I think that was just like haterade by that other, the other news girl. Yeah. Well, they're Not very, speak, uh, those, the one. those news divas, they're very catty. Yeah. Everyone's work, uh, jealous of each other's spots. Yeah. All right, let's go to uh, clip number three. Clip, 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 clip. Number number three. Now, a neighbor had said that they heard a noise in the apartment before the body was discovered, and another friend of the victim actually says he may have had a premonition about his death, saying that he wanted to be buried in his native Nic Nic Nicaragua, rather, just a couple <laughs> of weeks ago. That's the latest live from the Tremont section of the Bronx. Anthony. <laughs> now, a neighbor. Uh, we had caught said it, Jeff. Don't need the, the replay. We got, the... we got it. We got it. I don't need to replay that one, Jeff. I don't know if I had it loud enough. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know what's more awkward, him saying that or Cable Guy Jeff laughing at him saying oh, that. Oh, come on now. Cable Guy Jeff turning around and looking at you after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he was looking at my shirt. I'm really offended, Cable. <laughs> Yowzers. Yowzers. Go, go, Gadget. Awkward. <laughs> well, uh, Colt, your thought on that one. <laughs> this is wild. A C-bomb, then an N-bomb. I can only imagine what the, what the fourth one is. Fucking chickens. I'll tell you what, though. There is interactivity like a motherfucker on this show. Sparkle oh, what? Chris, do? what are you doing? What does Sparkle what do? Chris Pranks. <laughs> what is he writing? That's that's not cool. No. Not cool at all, actually. Huh? I do not acknowledge yeah, his don't, existence. Don't be, don't be doing that shit. All right, guys. Let's go to the... Uh, let's go to the next clip. <laughs> 
All right, here we go. Here's call, uh, clip number four. The next one behind that could affect us later in the week. This is how it looks tomorrow. <laughs> Getting some steam in the air. Temperatures are going to be a few degrees higher tomorrow in the mid to upper 90s for most of us. Afternoon thunderstorms actually mainly staying north of Interstate 20, so it doesn't look like we will see that. Maybe an isolated storm for Sterling City or towards Big Lake, but really that's all for anyone close to the Concha Valley. Mainly that high is going to steer those storms away from us. The cooler air not going to make it into the Concha Valley until the Realistic angle. <laughs> that was the medical angle. That was the medical angle. So uh, your thoughts on that gaff? <laughs> I... I enjoyed it. I liked how the Texas, the American Mexico break made for a nice, uh, nice a perfect line. By the way, Jewish penis. You can see the circumcision done on thanks the penis. Thanks to the Tex Mex. Uh, there's definitely no foreskin on that. Uh, and I hear from the ladies, it's a lot cleaner that way. That's what I've heard. Which things? There you see, that's a, that's, there's, a, there's a mushroom cap. There's a head on that, on that dick. Big set of balls. It's like there's some lesions, perhaps, though, on the shaft. You may want to stay away. It's a white lesion-looking thing on the head, too. <laughs> I want to stay What's away. What's that green might, stuff might, coming out of might not want to put it directly in your mouth. All right, well, we've got some votes to take care of. Come Those were all it. really good, by the way. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. No, but I am for once, you know. <laughs> some solid clips. Clip number one, let's refresh your memory. Clip number one was this one. Uh, fucking the chickens? Oh, oh yeah, yeah fucking the chickens. This one's not going to win. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> Keep fucking that chicken is a funny expression, but I don't see it winning. Number two was which one again? Cut, cut, cunt, 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 yeah, cunt. okay. Number two was cunt. Vote two for cunt. Uh, ha, okay, yeah, this one. Number three. Sparkle wiggle. Number four. All right. Cack. Number four was the cock. The cock weather. Cack and balls. One, two, three, or four. Come on. Interactivity at its finest here on the Sunday night, Sue. People are voting. Shit is happening. Decisions are being made. Choose your own adventure. Create your own fate. It's between one. I can't believe one is getting all these votes. Wow. I didn't know one would, would come in and, and cause such a huge upset, ladies and gentlemen. Keep fucking the chicken, ladies and gentlemen, is our winner of Clips of the Week. Wow. In a Big. shocking swerve. Big upset. Wow. Keep fucking that chicken. Keep fucking the chicken, Colt. It's a theory I've used for years. Should we get Cable Guy's announcement going here or what? I'm pleased. I'd love to hear it before I before I leave. What's your what's what what is your announcement, cable guy? What? Your announcement. Oh, hold on. My announcement. Yes. Yes. Um Clarence is sleeping. Oh there is he is. He? <laughs> I'm not Fourth sleeping. Kid. I was looking <laughs> that's some Fourth business to Sorry, go ahead. Uh Fourth. The, the big the big announcement still yes. is that uh drum roll? Basically what's gonna happen Do you want a drum roll or what? Yeah. So basically, a big announcement with my family uh, is... Uh, uh -oh. This is a big family announcement. <laughs> this is CNN Breaking News. Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Hey, Andy. Hey, Greg. Uh, before we begin, I want to take a minute to talk about something that happened Tuesday night. Around 8 o'clock here on the East Coast, R&B singer Chris Brown tweeted, No more planking for me unless it's on a sexy lady... LOL. Mm. <laughs> so I saw this tweet and I retweeted it, adding, You spelled punching wrong. <laughs> Obviously, a reference to the fact that Brown was arrested in 2009 for assaulting his then girlfriend, Rihanna. But now, in the light of day, I'd like to apologize to Chris Brown and to his fans who are known as Team Breezy. To Mr. Brown, I apologize for referencing the fact that you beat the crap out of Rihanna. It was disrespectful of me to draw attention to the fact that you put your girlfriend in the hospital. And further, it was not my place to make people remember that you beat a woman with your fists, leaving her with multiple facial contusions, a bloody nose, and a split lip. I know that now. I also appreciate the fact that you tweeted me, letting me know that children conduct themselves better than I do. 
You are correct, and I can only hope to one day mature to the point where I can conduct myself in a more adult manner, possibly by throwing a chair out of a window and storming out of a building with my shirt off. I ask only, I ask only for your patience. To Team Breezy, I would like to also say that I'm sorry, and thank you for your thousands of tweets, which taught me a lot about the creative possibilities of spelling, grammar, and syntax. Possibilities I never even imagined before last night. In particular, I'd like to thank the female members of Team Breezy, who have taught me that as long as you can sing, you can beat the living hell out of a woman, and other women will still love you. And lastly, I apologize to everyone for using Twitter to subtly address the fact that I think it's disgusting that a guy who put his girlfriend in the hospital can, a mere two years later, be warmly welcomed back into society and appear on shows such as Saturday Night Live as if, as if everything he did magically never happened. It won't happen again. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Really, Greg, the only thing Chris Brown is guilty of? What? A felony. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Breaking news. Wow, how, how rude of that breaking news to cut off my, uh, my big announcement. Jesus. Cable Guy's got an announcement. I wish I had another breaking news. Cable um, Guy, what is your announcement? It is family related. Okay, it's coming out now. Basically, um, the wife and I are... Shut up! Hold on a minute. Gonna... Oh my God, I'm freaking out right now. What is he going to say? What is going to come out of his mouth right now? Oh my god. I'm thinking of two things. Holy shit. What is he going to say? Wh are you having it? What is this could go so many directions, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big family announcement starting with the wife and I. What do you think? What? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm genuinely like really curious of what this is going to be. All right, Jeff. What is your announcement? Well, the the uh the wife and I have uh, are, are going to be uh, what? Take we're going to be taking the family on a vacation. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> in a couple weeks, we're taking the boys on a plane. Oh, you yeah, for the first time. You so got me. I got the flying bug now. So, so they beat you to it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Not Euler what family, I, I, Euler family uh, vacation. Not breaking news. Not what I thought was going down. My heart was <laughs> pounding with what he was going to say, and like that's the announcement. Oh. Where are you taking them? Uh, we're going to Reno. You're going Wait, you're taking a plane to Reno? To Reno. <laughs> you're taking you're taking like a forty five minute plane ride. You're going to Reno. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, man. I fuck. <laughs> I give up. The family version of Vegas? Come on, Cable. <laughs> Not even Disney World? Hey, kids! <laughs> we're going to Reno! <laughs> You're trying to write your own Vegas Cable, vacation? I'm proud of you, man. That's very exciting. Yes, yeah, it's you, a big thing. You could have driven have never, to... No, no, the kids have never flown before. Wait, Why do they, they fly do for free, Cable? Is this some deal? Like, no, no. Is this I a Groupon? No, it's not a Groupon. <laughs> It sounds like a Groupon to me, Cable. Who's one. mild? Are you using Cabana's air miles? Buy one, get one free? No, no. No, no Cabana so miles. So your kids are going to fly on a plane, and that's going to be fun. But why, uh, we, you know, Reno, I guess. Okay. All right. I am 1K. To what? Huh? I said I am 1K. What does that mean? 100,000 miles last year in United. Is that big? That's a lot. I'm like a god. You're like a god. <laughs> what happens to you when you go there? They, like, suck your dick? They're like, They're like yeah, hey, come, come on our ass. Mr. Cabana? <laughs> yes. That's what they say. They free upgrades, free wine, free drinks, whatever you want. Warm towel? Oh, Hot yeah. Towel? Hot towel? Today on my trip from San Francisco to Chicago, I had a, a beautiful chicken parmigiana sandwich with tomato basil soup. Wow. Wow. Classy. Wine spritzer, if I needed it. Hashtag. Roland James. Hashtag tour life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, well, Colt Boom Boom Cabana, of course, uh, you've got your admirers looking on. Uh, you can see them right now, the third window down, perhaps. Uh, you know, people just are, are here. But they love you, Colt. They hate me. They love you. But I'll tell you what. Uh, do you have any shout-outs that you, Colt Cabana, want to Shout-out not to Chris Pranks for his verbal, disgusting words. Oof. Shout those, out! Those were not, not those were not words with friends. <laughs> Shout out not to 
at Clarence underscore Obama. Oh, he acknowledged I have a Twitter. Thank you, Colt. That warms my soul. Shout out to Justin Trugman's relative. Yes. Hey. Trugman's looking at me like, with like, what the fuck is he talking about? Boy. <laughs> Boy. This guy's a wrestler. I'm not going to fuck with. What? Well, Shout as soon out. As soon as we go to break, fan. Stu's getting a cold one of the face. Oh. Shout out to all the families of that get to fly to Reno. Yes. I bet you Shout there's out. only one family flying to Reno this year. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rambles. Wow. Twitch ski. Twitch ski. Twitch ski. Twitch mania. And, uh, yo, uh, this is Church. I'd like to give a quick shout out to all the players out there and the homies. <laughs> players. That's what he was doing. So, do you have a Cole Cabana yeah. impression? <laughs> yo, you know, that's that's all I want to do. Just give everybody a, shout, a quick shout out. Just keep it real. <laughs> keep those beats fresh, you know? Nah, I mean, fresh beats. Whoa. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Cole. Uh, check out the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> boom boom. Buy my <laughs> shirts. I <laughs> when I fly, uh, I fly voiced class. Colts a god at American Airlines. Fact. United, please. United. Oh, Chicago. Star what a hub. Star Alliance. Kevin McAllister's family lost their left their kid at home <laughs> twice on United Airlines. If they had one K, then like me, they would have been. Oh, he would have been okay. He would have been. He would have been drinking wine spritzers in first. They would have served him a, a large cheese pizza on the plane, all for himself. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I like that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Colt Boom Boom Cabana. Uh, he gave a few shout outs. Of course, he wants to give a shout out to all the viewers uh, watching from Holland and all around Holland. the world. Oh, Jim, my fucking too. Word. Shout out to my man, Jimmy Boy. Jimmy Boy. Colt, we'll speak to you soon, buddy. Deuces? I hate to. Why did I do that? How about oh. this? All right, cool. Ladies and How gentlemen, about this? Uh, you guys, you, the TSM uh, world, the Sunday Night Stew viewers, are our next contestants on the call in the show. We're going to put up the phone number, the Skype ID, <laughs> and uh, you, can, you can be right where Colt is. Call in, talk, shoot the shit. Etc. We're coming right back with you on the Sunday Night Stew. Nominated for a TSM Radio Award. The big award show happening in two weeks. Looking for presenters. If you guys want to be a part and make it special, you know, you can dress up on the webcams. I do want to say a very huge congratulations to the lovely Blue Candy and her lovely baby who are going to be flying on a jet plane to lovely Reno, Nevada, <laughs> where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Actually, it's going to be probably snowing uh, there, and it's the first time uh, that the kids have ever look been at, in the snow. If anyone ever thought that Cable Guy Jeff can't produce a winner, look at that cute, adorable-looking kid. Wow. Hi, Ryder. Beautiful, beautiful stuff there. Look at that cute kid. <laughs> Get him to do this. Cable Guy is uh, ca Cable Guy and his wife are selling their sperm and egg combinations. If anyone would like that combination to create one of these little guys, In fact, uh, they three are for charging three. three for three. Forty thousand dollars. You can own your own. Are you going to sell the placenta pills from that as well, too, Cable? If placenta yes. pills are extra. Okay. Uh, Very cute. That's the upsell. We have a ton of callers, a shit ton of callers, as uh, Slow Jam Cam would say. Hello. Cable Guy's son uh, learning a, quite a vocabulary on tonight's show. <laughs> Sparkle. Uh, all right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk. T-A-L-K. Let's talk. Uh, do we have people on our Skype? Do we have uh, people we don't on have our... a Skype, but we do have a caller. We do have a caller. No uh, cam on this one? We, we have a couple. You are on the Sunday Night <laughs> Stew. Who's this? This is Tina. Hey! <laughs> Tina, you are a special, special woman. You know that? Now, why is that, Stu? I mean, literally, you are beyond generous. You are. Uh, maybe you don't realize it. Maybe you were drunk. Maybe you fell and hit the keyboard wrong. I'm not sure. <laughs> but honest to God, <laughs> you have go gone above and beyond. You have made the biggest uh, donation. Of, I couldn't. I'm, I feel guilty accepting it. I'm going to be. I have to send you some stuff just so I can feel better about myself at night. I think that you are a fantastic person. And Tina, everybody, <laughs> Tina. Tina is the shit. Tina, how are you? 
I'm actually doing quite well. How about your you you, See that you got a new cast there, so. Tina, listen, as far as I'm concerned, if you ever want to call this show front of the line, you don't got to wait for nothing. Uh, no, I'm just like everybody else, sweetie. Uh, Tina, how, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? I was actually just pretty chill, just me and the little one. You did what? Just me and my son. You and your son. So did you have a good, uh, see, I see Cable right there. His son is on there. Maybe you guys could have a virtual play date or something like that. <laughs> oh, wait, there's another one there. Look at Cable. Cable's Whoa. kids don't go to bed, as you can see. Up. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's little, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, Reese. that's Reese. That's Reese. That's little Reese. Reese. Reese is the one that likes to smile. That's Reese. Reese, why are you not in bed? Reese likes to smile. Reese, you're supposed to be in bed. It's past your bedtime. Reese loves to smile. He's always smiling. Go get some chocolate for mom and then go to bed. Chocolate before <laughs> bed. That might be the problem there, Cable. <laughs> uh, now, let me ask you this. Have you taken your, your young son uh, on, a, uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on an airplane yet? Yes, actually, yes, I've had. He actually had his first airplane ride when he was about, I would say, eight months old. So do you have any advice for Jeff and his uh, lovely wife on what it's like to take newborns and children on flights? Is there any advice? Uh, maybe put some wine in their bottle? What What, uh -huh. what, what do you advise? Um, it actually all depends on the kid. I know mean, mine was actually pretty chill, and uh, the passenger that I was sitting next to actually gave me a break, so... <laughs> Look at that, Jeff. You see, it's going to be a breeze. Okay, so I have to lick my lips. Is that what you're saying, Stu? Yes. I have to lick the lips? Right. Do that when you go to the counter, and you'll be good. Okay. That's the Stu Stone method. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you I'm know, not the, taking credit for that. Uh, uh, Tina, how about this? Uh, are you interested in, at all in being a presenter for the uh, TSM Low Rent Awards that are coming low in two rent? weeks? Sure. I wouldn't mind being a presenter. All right. Tina is our first official presenter. Tina, we will be we will be writing it. We will be writing a little script for you to to say on the day. You're gonna need the only requirement is that you have a webcam, come, come as you are, and uh, we'll we'll send you what your lines are, and you'll present an award. What do you think? Okay, sure, no problem. Sounds good. That's Tina, everybody. Tina. Tina, any shout outs you want to give? Oh wow, let's see. A shout out to you, Stu, of course. Yes. Cable guy Jeff. Uh, I also see Clarence there, I believe. Clarence Obama looking very handsome. That would be me. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I also see Young Church was there, too. Church. Preach. 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 Uh, Jenna, Chris Pranks, uh, J Love. Oh, gosh, so many people in the chat room. Uh, Mr. Man, of course. And Big Cat, and also a shout out to uh, Blue Candy as well, too. Blue Candy, yes, that is the lovely Tina, everybody. Tina. Uh, we're going to come right back with more calls. This is the Sunday Night Stew. <laughs> the lower lip quivers much better with the beard because it's like visually a lot more to look at. Look. Starting to scare myself with this fucking beard. <laughs> it's getting a little big. All right. Well, get rid of that backwoods. <laughs> that shit is awful. Them backwoods boys. Uh, we have a bunch of people calling in, and who's our next caller? Hey! I do like it when Cable does the trombone stuff. <laughs> it is overtime, folks. Overtime. Overtime. But since we don't have school tomorrow, we're going to take every call that is on hold right now. I believe there's a lot of them, so we'll, we'll bust through it. I'll take a couple. If I need a break, I'll take it because that's, that's, it's my life. But we'll try to get through this. Uh, this will be the... The chance that if you wanted to get through, this is your final call, last call. Anyone who doesn't call in in the next one minute, 
You can tweet me. I'll read your tweets, but you ain't calling in. It ain't happening. Got the number in the Skype up there, Jeff? No, I don't need to anymore. All right, we've got callers all over the place here. Who is on the line right now? Hello. Holland. 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 It's murder. <laughs> Holland, Holland. <laughs> it's murder. <laughs> Gretchen, Gretchen, we'll call, call back in a minute. Hey, Holland, are you there? It's me, Margaret. Are you there? It's me, yeah, Margaret. I'm there. Where's well, your camera? I got the spinning, spinning circle of death. Yeah, my camera's on. Uh, maybe. Um, uh, I'm not sure what to say. But how is? How are you? How? Uh, of course, you're calling from Holland. Holland. That's remarkable. Uh, how is your day? It's just getting started. What do you have to do yeah. today? Because it's the future right now. What do you have to do in the future? Um. Not having to do anything because I'm on break. Oh, you're on break. So I'm full. yeah, a week long. So what do you do? You just get high all week, or what do you do? No, I don't know yet. Maybe. Maybe you're gonna get high. I won't all see week. what happens. I need to work. You need to work. Yeah, I need to work. And where are you gonna do that? Um, we have like a Walmart, but I work on roller skates. So yeah. You work on roller skates at a Walmart? Yeah. Wow. Talk about multitasking. There's people watching this show right now that can't rub their head and their tummy at the same time. You're on roller skates at a fucking Walmart. Wally, yeah. Wally, Wally, Wally World. Wally, 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 Wally yeah. World. So are you shaking your ass at the Walmart in the roller skates or, or what? She got yeah, I just need to help people with questions and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so, you, so people all the time are asking you to do the Wally, Wally World dance? <laughs> no, I don't even know what it is. You don't even know what that is. Oh. Don't make don't make me show you what that is. Oh, do it. I dare well, you. Since this show is interactive, I'll allow the audience to determine shall we show her what the Wally Wally World dance is or are we over that? Number two, if you're over it. One or two. Jeff, are you ready to respond to what uh, needs to happen if yeah, the, it's yeah. all yeses. It's all yeses. Way? Uh, Gretchen says no. But it looks like everybody else would like a uh, Holland. I really wish your camera was working before we, we teach you this. Can you, like, turn off your camera and turn it on again, perhaps? Yeah, I can do that. All right, there's a photo of her and now the spin. And, uh, no, it doesn't seem to want to work. Oh, shit. What did you just say? <laughs> can that be beep? Do you, have your, do you have your camera on in the stick ham room? No, I don't have it on there. Maybe log out of that room and then try the camera again. I'm trying to do some tech support here, folks. Tech support with a Canadian accent. Teak. Starting now. I can help yeah. you with your problem. I think I know about exactly what to do. There Yay! you go. Tech support Canadian Yay! style. <laughs> See, I know what I'm talking about. Well, now you just look like a mysterious creature <laughs> from a Duran Duran <laughs> video. Well, at least we've got some imagery. As long as you can see us and we can see some sort of evil version of you. Oh, there oh, there she is, ladies hey! and gentlemen. Holly! 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 It's murder! All right, are you ready to, to learn the Wally World dance? Yeah. All right. Keep keep your eyes directly on your screen. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, watch the screen. Man, forget going to the club to meet something new. When I want to meet something new, I go get me a basket and I go walk around Walmart. All the women being Walmart. Show the dream, 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 dream. Come I'm on. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Walmart. She going to Walmart. They going to Walmart. They be at Walmart. We going to Walla 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 World. Walla Walla. Basket, 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 basket,
basket, basket, basket. She got her basket. What's your name? What's your number, girl? Ooh, oh, what's your name? What's your number? Ooh, she, what's your name? What's your number, girl? Ooh, oh, what's your name? What's your number? Ooh, she making groceries, 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 groceries. She making groceries, 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 groceries. She got Louisiana purses, purses. She got, she got Louisiana purchase cards. Ooh, she got Louisiana purchase, purchase. She got Louisiana purchase cards. She got Louisiana and a and a and a and a purchase cards. Louisiana 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 purchase cards. Louisiana
So Cable Guy Jeff has proven that he did not take geography in school <laughs> I thought it was the because road, he sorry. thinks you need a passport to go to Rhode Island. <laughs> I thought he it was, also sorry, thinks. Wrong remember, caller. he just went on a plane for the first time he a couple months ago. I was wrong. He I thought it was another con- caller. He has also convinced his family that Reno is in Italy. <laughs> That is a fact. There's casinos it's that look like you. Yeah. It's Rino. But I, it was another caller that I thought. She's I from mistake. Rhode Island. The lovely, the lovely Rhode Island. Yes. Are you telling me, uh, Gretchen, that Rhode Island is a boring place to live? Isn't the Family Guy there? It's extremely boring, and Family Guy makes it so awesome, but it's not. It's boring. There's trees everywhere. Trees, are so, trees are so fucking boring, aren't they? Trees. They just yeah. get on my nerves. So there's nothing there's nothing to do like on a typical exciting night what would you do go to the movies go to the batting cages go to some local eatery and hang out go to the mall i guess go to the mall yeah sounds pretty boring man she's not wrong we got to put some excitement in gretchen's life wait how old is this is, is gretchen we may not want to go there jeff we may just want to leave it <laughs> Sorry, we may that. just want to leave it ambiguous uh, I'm, re- I'm rewinding that i now. mean this is just gretchen the caller from rhode island gretchen <laughs> i want to uh, gretchen do you ever uh, check out a show called friday night cranks Oh, my God. I'm their hugest fan okay. ever. That's where I found out about you. Oh, really? Okay, because well, I was about to congratulate them, and it's perfect that you're calling in right now because they celebrated their five-year anniversary uh, this week. They had their five-year anniversary. So round of applause to Friday Night Cranks. And I've, I haven't officially uh, uh, made a, a congratulations statement yet, but you know what? Gretchen, on behalf of me, if you don't mind, could you congratulate uh, the Friday Night Cranks crew on behalf of the Sunday Night Stew? You can be the person that congratulates them for us. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. And Gretchen is going to thank Friday Night Cranks and congratulate them for us. Take one action. Um, congratulations, Jared and Kristen. You guys are awesome, and thank you for having like such an awesome live show. There you go. That's Kristen, everybody. Er, and Jared. Kristen and Jared, the Friday Night Crank five-year show. Gretchen, I hope that you had a good experience calling into the show and you continue to check us out. I did, and I will. And do you have any shout-outs you want to give? Um, Nate to his beard. Nate, Nate's beard is fantastic. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, she really likes it. There you go, Nate. Hopefully Chris Hansen not watching the show. <laughs> Uh, there's somebody that wanted to, to say hello to you, Gretchen. Uh, you're maybe not familiar with him, but he's a big fan of yours, Gretchen. And he uh, wanted to say hello personally. Uh, I'd like to bring him in right now. Uh, please welcome Adam Rodness, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Rodness. Adam Rodness, you're going to sit right there, yeah? All right, Adam Rodness, you asked for this time to talk about Gretchen. Hey, hey, Gretchen. Uh, if Gretchen, are you there? Can you hear? Uh huh. All right, uh, Adam Rodness, also known as the Weatherman Ron uh, from TSM Radio, uh, he has something that he really wanted to talk to you about, Gretchen. So, uh, uh, Adam, uh, it's, it's your t- it's your time, man. Go ahead. Well, first off, how are you? I'm great. And uh, and we're we're sorry. You're from Rhode. You're from Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. As I remember, because we had a conversation once, no? Um, I don't think so. This is the first time I've ever watched the show. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh. busted. Burn! So, Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what brings you to TSM? No, no, that's not how this was supposed to go at all. It's not? Was I not in the briefing room? <laughs> you were going to talk to her about... To, when she goes to the mall, she should oh. watch out and make sure that, you know, she doesn't know if any guy comes up to her and says, hey, do you want to be a model and take pictures and come to my <laughs> van? Sorry. You're not supposed to go. You were going to give her some mall safety tips. That's what we talked about. Gretchen likes to go to the mall, and we want her to be safe at the mall. So, Adam, let's, let's do what we were planning on doing in our meeting, that if Gretchen were to ever call the show, right, right, we right. have this emergency break glass if Gretchen calls. I didn't know this was – I thought this was uh, – this is Gretchen Gretchen. Yeah, this, this, is, this was, is – I thought it was just Gretchen. No, this is Gretchen Gretchen. Oh. Gretchen. This is – Gretchen, 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 we've been... Gretchen. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. So, Rodney. So, wait, how, so how old are you, no, Gretchen? No, we're not. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I can't, I can't ask that no, question. That is not part of this conversation. Trust me. 
That is not part of the conversation. Well, it's got nothing has to no, do something with it. No, it's got nothing it. to do with it. It is you are giving uh, you are giving advice, safety advice for the mall for an ambiguous age for all ambiguous females age. who peruse the malls and check out Forever Twenty One, oh. Forever Twenty Two, and today. Forever Twenty Six. Um, well, I, uh, you know, do, I would, I would, I think the best thing is to always, uh, wear proper foot attire, number one. Why, because if you don't wear to go proper... with a nice little, you know, smooth sole, something that, that uh, will keep predators away. Exactly. And also, in the worst case scenario, you can run. is good for running. Yeah, that's a good call. Right? Smooth sole. I would stay away from the converse because your ankle actually tends to roll over, which could cause more harm than, uh, than, than actually work for your advantage. Um, I'd recommend a nice Nike uniform. running shoe, perhaps. Do you have good you shoes, this Gretchen? What? Do you have flat? Uh, do you have good shoes for the mall? Mm, but are the Uggs count? Uggs, you can, yeah, you can run in Uggs. I mean, Uggs are okay. They're fashionable. They're fashionable. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say the Uggs but are okay. I've I've run uh, I've running ran wise. In, yeah, I've ran in what? Okay, in, in I'll Uggs give that before. to you, Gretchen. Um, second thing, I mean, always I wouldn't over make a bit. Putting on too much makeup. Gives you a wrong impression to other gentlemen out there, saying that you are looking for something that you might have been not even been thinking about. Right. So I would tone it down on the makeup. Not to say that you actually wear a lot of makeup. I don't know. But if you are planning on it, I'd think again. <laughs> You're saying that Gretchen is beautiful naturally and exactly. doesn't need all that makeup. It's the inside beauty that counts. Okay. Not okay. On the That's exterior. very thoughtful of you, Adam. Um, also, when it comes to clothing attire, I think that one would be most covered up. In, like a know, burka. Like, well, I wouldn't go that far in burka. You'd like her to wear a burka in Rhode Island at the mall? <laughs> no, but something with a nice, you know, maybe a, a, a slender V-neck or a crew neck. A crew neck. You know, something to, uh, you know, keep the eyes and the ears open and around and not to focus on any general vicinity. Yeah, you don't want to do that. No. Uh, oh, I'm if, supposed to wear, like, a V-neck and then to be extra safe, like, wrap myself in plastic wrap or something? Plastic wrap works, actually, but some people have allergic reactions. Adam, I remember you had that one time. Yeah. I do recall a time once when I uh, did have a plastic wrap injury. Actually, it's funny you're writing that up. Because you know, here's the thing about plastic wrap. It doesn't feel the same. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's like... It's like a, it's a different feel every time. I mean, it's much better without the plastic wrap, personally, but, you know, to each his own. Safety first. I'll remember that. Uh, uh, if you're traveling with a partner now, Gretchen, too, it might not be the worst choice into having one of those rubber leashes. You know those leash things that you clip like on? One of those to... are, like Cable puts on his kids. Exactly. <laughs> like if you're traveling with a younger, a younger someone, maybe just, you know, for extra precautions. Who knows? I don't know what type of malls you're going to. Uh, um, she's going to the dangerous malls in Rhode Island. You've read about them in the paper. Very dangerous malls. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the Hot Topic there, it's literally so hot in there that mm -hmm. it's like... Oh. I love Hot Topic. Oh, my God. So do I. So those are the ones with the Brookstones and the Menchies? Yeah. I don't think they have a Menchies <laughs> they don't at have the mall. Out there. They, they don't have a Menchies in Rhode Island? There's no Menchies no. there. No. Yogurties, perhaps? What's the name of the frozen yogurt place that we went to that time, Gretchen? <laughs> um... It's, oh, God, what's the name? Uh, it's like, I don't remember. Yeah, do you have a frozen yogurt place in Rhode Island? Do they sell frozen yogurt in Rhode Island? Yeah, there's a frozen yogurt, like, stand at the mall. A frozen yogurt stand. Do you know the name of the stand? It's like initials or something. Initials. See, Rodness, I told you. They don't have Menchie. TCBY? TCBY. Is it TCBY? Yes, it is. Whoa! Frozen yeah. yogurt search continues. Wow. <laughs> well, Gretchen, I think you've learned enough for one night, but I uh, I appreciate that you've called in, and I, I thank you for your support of the show and all the things, uh, you know, Friday Night Cranks, they're great kids. And, of course, have you have you heard the Return of the Stone Movement album yet? Oh, my God, I'm saving up money so I can buy it. She's saving up money so that she can buy it. That sounds like my kind of gal. That's thank good. you very much for the call, Gretchen. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for letting me talk. No problem. Be safe out there, all right? It's a, it's a, it's a crazy world out there. Okay. Okay, that's Gretchen, everybody. She's, she's a lot safer. After speaking to us, I feel like she's just going to go on and live a productive, amazing life. I just think I just, I, I felt like I did a good deed. You did there, a mitzvah. You know. You did. Uh, we're gonna. This is my final break. We're gonna come back and take the rest of these calls, and then Cable's gonna go home and kiss his wife. I love Jay Love. That's why his name is Jay Love. Just watching Nate, uh, Nate Dog the Pimp just watch t 
television is probably just exciting. Just watching him watch videos is just captivating. He's just uh, he's just a magnet for my eyes. All that beard. Uh. Beard of the year, Nate Dog to Pimp. <laughs> just a runner up. This is his world. I'm just bearding in it. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? It's his world. We have a lot of callers to get to. We're already way behind. Cable clearly, I would say that his marriage is at a very high point right now. Playing <laughs> Hi There, Delilah, and uh, who was that other song that you played there? Uh, I forgot already. Why? Was it, uh... Oh, Jason, Jason Mraz. Jason Mraz. Jason Mraz, yeah. Well, it's only because these are leftovers from the Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, day. sure. Oh. Cable Guy has uh, had t- took her to the taco truck. Watch some real steel. Hey, Taco Tuesdays, come on. <laughs> then he, uh, he, uh, uh, they, they, I mean, you know, there's, there's, uh, I can't, I can't tell you what happened next because Gretchen is listening. <laughs> but, uh, I'll tell you what, there may be an announcement coming from Cable and his family again very soon. What? <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> we have callers. Clap, 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 clap. We have callers. All right, let's get to them, shall we? Yeah, caller, you there? We have a caller. You hey. are you're on the Sunday night too. Who's this? It's Tyler. Tyler, wh- Tyler, what's cracking, dog? Just watching y'all. Watching y'all to all of y'all. So Chris Pranks came back this week or what? Yeah, he's in the chat room right now. Oh, so I he's, think he's not grounded anymore. Yeah, there he is. He's in the chat. Oh, good, good. He uh, said he won't be calling in though. Why not? Uh, apparently. I don't know if he wants me to say what about his late over there or something. He's what, It's late over there? Yeah. But it's not a school night. I don't know. Isn't it President's Day tomorrow? I think so. Or, t- or today, depending on where you're at. I mean, do you have to work at Apex Wings tomorrow? I do. See? It's the fuck the man, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to fuck around. Yeah. Uh, so Just like your money. How was your weekend, Ooh. man? What'd you do? Uh, It was very busy. I worked. Boy, you just are full of stories, man. <laughs> I was just getting. Yeah, I, 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 I just no, I just set them up. You knock them down. You know what I'm saying? We're a great comedy team here. So uh, you uh, you worked. Uh, how many hours did you work? Uh, this week about thirty. I mean, to me, you are a very responsible young man. I'm proud of you. I'm impressed. I think that you've got great work ethic. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty and get in there and work hard, right? Exactly. You're going to make a great family man someday, and a lucky lady out there would be lucky uh, to, to, to be you know, attached to such a fine gentleman like yourself. Do you have a girlfriend or a girl that you have a crush on? And anything? No, not, not recently. I don't. Not, so you're, you're just single and looking to mingle? Yep. So what kind of, what, what, what kind of gal is Tyler looking for? Obviously someone he can beat. Uh, He's wearing a wife beater. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely go Chris Brown. Uh, no, oh. what, what type of lady are you looking to meet, uh, Tyler? Because uh, uh, I know, outgoing. I know if I, I know uh, uh, the lovely Lissa is is dying to know. <laughs> hey, Lissa, what's up? Uh, outgoing. <laughs> what's up, girl? Hey, um, so, what kind of lady up? are you interested in, Tyler? See, uh, outgoing, um, athletic, good sense of humor. That's pretty much it. Outgoing, athletic, and a good sense of humor. Well, Adam Rodness, who has been sitting here listening to your entire description, um, he might want you to expand what you're looking for because Adam is a big uh, provocateur. I just made that word up, I think. <laughs> of, uh, of, of, you know, spreading, opening your mind. Uh, Adam, do you want to speak to Tyler on, on his selection and potential mates? Well, it's... Uh... It's a long road ahead, I'll tell you that much. There's uh, a lot to ponder and know about. Well, well, Adam, of course, dates in real life. He is uh, he dates my sister, Dina. Uh, that is her boyfriend. That is so true. if he's telling you that it's a long road ahead and sounds all frustrated, uh, <laughs> what's going on, Adam, with Dina? Is uh, she giving you a hard time? No, no, she's great. It's about persistence. Persistence. Determination. Determination. Have you been reading Joe Reaver's Valentine's <laughs> cards again? What? <laughs> no! 
Yes. What, what is it about, Adam? Because you have a successful relationship. Maybe we need to ask Cable. He's the only one with a with a real deal thing going on. Here. He does have the real deal on his but, finger. But but what is your uh, what, what what is your advice? Not to the Tyler first one. Tyler's the looking third. for someone outgoing. He's looking for someone outgoing. He's looking for somebody athletic. Athletic. He's is looking always for good. somebody who's easygoing. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you should probably not have a hard time meeting someone at the gym, perhaps. You know, if that's what you're looking for, maybe exercising might lead to... I would to say that the gym is probably the worst place to pick up a girl. <laughs> Especially for <laughs> How someone... How do you know? You don't go to the gym. I don't go to the gym. That's why I don't go to the gym. Because <laughs> what's the point? Uh, you do make a good point there, Stu. What is the point? With I would one? say he'd have a great chance at picking up a, a nice young lady who perhaps works, also works hard like him, also in the restaurant uh, business, and also someone who has to make a okay. sincere, uh, uh, you know, she would be someone who's the opposite of selfish. Do you want to know why? Because she would be someone perhaps that works at Red Lobster who sell fish. Uh, I would say that you, sir, could go to a Red Lobster and you will find, th this is almost the psychic in me. I'm almost guaranteeing that you could go to Red Lobster, Tyler. You could do it. You could go to Red Lobster, and you could pull some ass out of Red Lobster. Perhaps a cute little hostess. Perhaps a nice little server. Perhaps someone who's cooking salad in the back. Shrimp salad specials. I think you need to go to Red Lobster. I'll, I'll give it a try, and then uh, I'll have Jared hit you up and let you know what, what happened. Well, I mean, can you just film your, you going there or let us know? Actually, I don't, I don't think you should film it. It'll ruin it. I think sincerely you should make a consorted effort. That, that one might be to, to go a little to, awkward for her if I just went up with the camera in her face. Yeah, you should just go Whoa. for real. I'm being no, honest. No, no, That shows Whoa. determination. No, it doesn't. It shows some creepy shit. I mean, don't you remember what happened with the G-Man? He tried to film himself talking to women. He caught, ended up getting hit in the face with an umbrella or something. No, I missed that one. Listen, Tyler, here's what you need to do. <laughs> Convince your family or guardian or legal supervisor to take you to Red Lobster. And you are, for some reason, going to pick a lovely girl that works there, and you're going to chat her up. And it's going to work, okay? It's going to work. Right. I'm telling you. This isn't I'll some bullshit. You really will? I'll go for it. Make a promise to me, friend to friend, that you are actually going to do this. I promise you, Stu, that I will do this. And can you also tell me the slogan of Red Lobster? At Red Lobster, we're not selfish. We sell fish. Now, if that was your opener to the girl, you would get a laugh? Probably. And then perhaps a phone number, and then perhaps you can invite her to come to your place to watch Dolphin Tail uh, Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get that first. Hold on. Is that the real slogan to Red Lobster? Yeah. You didn't know that? We're not. We don't sell. What? Say it again. At, at Red Lobster, we're not selfish. We. Oh, I'm sorry. Tyler, go ahead. At Red Lobster, we're not selfish. We sell fish. I thought it was always so good for so little. No, that's Swiss Chalet. Oh, right. <laughs> Red Lobster has always been, we're not selfish, we're, we're not selfish. selfish, we sell fish. Never heard that before in my life, but really? good to know. How did you not know that? I never knew that. Everybody knows that. I don't know that. Is it true? Now you do. Definitely. <laughs> uh, he doesn't any, know. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to everyone on cam. Uh, Big Cat, Sean Pranks, uh, see Elle's in the room. Sup, Elle? She actually, uh... She wanted me to remind you that you promised her some ladies in a closet for Christmas. Uh, well, you know, she can ask me herself. I told her to call in. She says she was with her bitches. Oh. <laughs> sounds, sounds exciting. Maybe you should not go to the Red Lobster. Maybe you just need to talk to Elle. I'll, I'll give that a try, too. She, she, uh, she's outgoing and athletic, you know. But she likes the pussy. Jesus there's a mouth on this kid. There's a mouth. A mouth on this kid. Do you kiss? Do you kiss your aunt with that mouth? No, I don't actually. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, man. Good, uh, good talking to you, buddy. Right. And a shout out to uh, and a congratulations to the guy over at Friday Night Cranks. Friday Night for sure. Huge shout outs to Friday Night Cranks. Uh, big things with them coming uh, in 2012. Hope so. All right, man. Thanks for calling. Good All luck right. with your love life. See you guys. See you, buddy. Good night. I like that kid. Nice guy. Nice guy. Yeah, nice guy. Quality, nice guy. quality guy. Cable is he a nice guy? He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Not afraid to work He's hard. Nice and get his hands dirty. Nice guy. Nice guy. Great sense. Of we have another call, nice Jeff. How many more? Another call. You are on the Sunday night stew. Who may I say is calling? Uh Rambles. Jenna Rambles, everybody. Hi. Rambles. <laughs> Oh, very nice round of applause for Jenna Rambles. 
Wow, well, did she even put on her special earrings tonight? Sparkle. Oh, I was out. I hey, was Sparkle. out earlier. Oh, she was out <laughs> earlier. Were you at a bar mitzvah? No, I was at the pay per view. Oh, you Wrestling. went to the pay per view. Wow. She... Well, not the. I went to Wing House. Oh, you went Ooh, to Wing House. Oh. You got all dolled up to go to Wing House. I don't get off that. I don't get out that often. Ooh, that's she doesn't get bad. off <laughs> that often. Wow. Shut up. She that's doesn't... what she said. Are you drunk? <sighs> Have you been drinking? No, actually. How many, what was Red, the how many Did you eat any wings? No. Did you eat any any pizza? No. Did you eat anything? Do you have an eating disorder? <laughs> God, no. I love food. Um, I splurged and had macaroni and cheese. Mac and fucking cheese. You know what I'm I saying? I love macaroni and cheese. Who doesn't? Who when doesn't? I, as a matter of fact, when I was a kid, this is a true story, I was the Kraft mac and cheese kid. I was in the national commercials. I was the Kraft kid. Cable even has proof. I don't know if he has it here, but it's, it's real. It's, it's damn real. That is awesome. Uh, so you had a good time. I don't want any spoilers. I haven't seen it yet. But you I watch? I, I'm, I, have a t I have a DVR'd for my bed. Watch this. See if you recognize anybody in this. It's Haruka, of course. <laughs> Everybody loves Kraft Dinner Macaroni and Cheese, the only one made with Kraft. Are you ready? It's coming. Only Here it comes, Kraft Jenna. Make macaroni taste this good with everything. I love, I love, I love, I love my Kraft Dinner with my God. My God. Of course, I didn't have the beard back then. But that, there You're it is. Adorable. And men and men that I don't know that are claiming to be my dad have been kissing me ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smile on my face with that strange man. My mom's like, don't worry, Stuart. Pretend that's your daddy. Let him kiss you. You're going to get paid. He's oh, going to tickle you. <laughs> Go with Mr. Sandusky into the showers, young Stuart. <laughs> It'll be fine. Just eat the macaroni, Stuart. Eat the fucking macaroni. See all that? See that huge plate of macaroni? I had to eat probably like 20 plates of that. I bet. More than my body weight. There I probably weighed about 12 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> there are Jeez. puppets that weigh more than I do right there. Adorable. Thank you. That's where I got the nickname. How are you? <laughs> How are you otherwise? Are you, are you good? Do you want to date Tyler maybe? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't put the, me on the spot like he's that. He's got the qualifications. He's hardworking. You know, he's saving True. up his money. He's a responsible guy. He's, a, he's decent looking, you know. I'd, I mean, you know, if I was into that kind of thing. Uh, he, 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 he knows how to cook so he can make food for you. Yeah, but I like to cook. He brushes his teeth. Mm, That's good. Quality. good. <laughs> he's got a nice smile. That's good, too. So what do you think? I like older guys. He's like 41. <laughs> he just looks really good. He's like Benjamin Button. That's well, okay. Okay, I, well, I Tyler, I tried. Clearly, Jenna is not interested. I know. I tried. I tried. It was I tried. Hot. But you know what? It's not meant to be with Jenna because she doesn't work at Red Lobster anyway. Jenna is. is Jenna doesn't sell fish. She is sell no. fish. <laughs> with her love. Ha ha ha. So, uh, Jenna, uh, any new sculptures or crazy toys that you've got to show us this week, or? Nothing new. I'm trying to finish some stuff up. I've got emails going back and forth. I'm trying to finalize details and the not fun stuff. So but. you don't get hit on by men at this uh, at this at this uh, bar where you go to watch the wrestling pay per view. I almost did. I don't know. But I mean, are you oblivious to it, or because I would no, think no, no. That, I would think at a pro wrestling pay per view uh, showing at a bar, you are probably a ten. At that place. You're probably the Thanks. hottest girl what in am there. I, what am I otherwise, Stu? No, I'm, I'm not sure. I just can tell you in that situation, you are kicking fucking ass. You yeah, are the, I know what you mean. You're, you're like really? killing it over there. I can't imagine there's that many good-looking girls going to watch wrestling pay-per-view. So I, what, I know where to go. So I go there, GameStop. So what happens? Do, they, do, they, do <laughs> men slap you on the butt and say, go John Cena? Or what goes <laughs> on at, this, at <laughs> these things? Um... No, not really, but they do sometimes come up to me and, and like tonight, somebody asked me about the match, and I gave my honest opinion, and I think I surprised spoilers, him by actually spoilers. Don't give any spoilers. No spoilers. No, 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 I'm not. I'm All not. Right. I just All gave right. my honest opinion, and I think he was surprised I even had one. Wow. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, I, I, don't th I, I think it's me. cool, by the way. I love wrestling. Yeah. I, it's it's, my, it's I love it. I love it more than anything. 
it's pretty awesome. It is awesome. What do you? What about Clarence Obama? Is he more your type? He's a little older. He's a. I don't know. Good looking guy. Travels the world with, with about rappers. personality. He does. I'm have... new to the show, so I'm getting used to everybody. Well, hello, Jenna. Hi. <laughs> Should I say? She's new to the show. Ms. She still Marbles. hasn't. She still hasn't picked which one is the cutest boy yet. Clarence, you're still in the running. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think. I don't know who can compare with Colt. I'm sorry. That's Ooh. fine. That's fine. That's tough competition. Colt. Colt Whitmore is a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, poor Cabana. Uh, listen, uh, Jenna, uh, we're going to have uh, a, an award show happening here in two weeks. I don't know. Yeah. I, I know you like to dress up to go to wrestling pay-per-views uh, at the wing place, but would you be willing to get dressed up, put on a little, uh, you know, a little razzle-dazzle, you know, and be a presenter at the, uh, at the uh, a TSM award show? I, I would love to. I think it would be awesome. You do think it would be awesome? Yes. I'm, oh, and thank you the I, other night for letting me... Have fun on Spreecast. Cool. Unfortunately, uh, the, f the position is already filled. I was just throwing it out there just to see how you mm. would feel about it. I just, wanted, so I just wanted to know what you would say, but the position is not really available. I'm sorry. Rude. I'm kidding. It is available. <laughs> and Jenna Rambles can be a presenter in two glorious weeks. Don't worry, folks. Next week, there will be people to getting that same opportunity. Jenna, Hell any yeah. shout-outs you want to give? Oh, God. Um, let's see. Tina, Big Cat, Mr., Tyler, everybody in the studio, of course. I always do the chat room first because I'll forget. I'll forget everybody. I'm terrible with names. Uh, God. She's bad with names, guys. She's bad with names. I am. <laughs> of course, Nate Dog's beard. Nate Dog's beard. Can't miss beard. out on that. Greatest beard in the fucking world. Everybody in Cam. Uh, to Colt Cabana. Colt Boom Boom Cabana. There it is. I heard you guys talking to me. I'm talking about me uh, on TSM radio. Oh, you did. Oh yeah. Did you, <laughs> did, did, did you like that? You're like kind of famous now. Awesome. You're getting some. Fun. You're getting some notoriety around here very fast. You just burst on the scene. Rambles. Jenna, Jenna Rambles could be a 2012 one to watch. Mm. Uh, all right, Rodness wanted to say something to you, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Uh, he Hi. wanted to ask you How something you? about fruit roll-ups, Rodness. What was it that you wanted to ask her? Now, about the fruit roll-up, is there a certain actual way that it must be eaten? Does it have to be around the finger, or are you allowed to tear <laughs> it in half? How does it really work? I've done terrible things with fruit roll-up. Damn. Yeah. All Damn. right. We're going to leave it at that, folks. <laughs> Jenna, the very sexual Jenna. Or Jenna rambles making adult toys for a living and rambles. doing crazy, no. kinky shit with fruit roll-ups with Colt Cabana in her mind. <laughs> this has been a wonderful time talking to you, Jenna. Yep, awesome as always. Uh, we will speak to you soon. That's Jenna. Bye. Do we have a final caller? What's the deal here? Yeah, we got another. We got another call. We have a couple calls. Lisa oh. is laughing. Holland is laughing. Tina is awesome. Nate Dog's beard. I tell you, son of a bitch. J Love, what what it is? J Love, how you doing, man? You doing good? How you living? You living good. <laughs> things are good, J Love. Things are good. Things are good. Things are good. Things are good. Wow. Things are good. J Love. Things are good. Good. All good. Oh, Thank Jesus, God. Dude, can we move I just want to make sure. I fucking make sure that my dog is good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is this our last call, Jeff? Nope. Really? Yep. Your wife's getting angry now. <laughs> uh, she's already off cam. She's gone. It's okay. You were on the Sunday night too. Who's this? This is Twitch. Twitch, what hey. up, man? Nothing much just watching you. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Speaking Do of cute curls. Well, look at this. Twitch has a whole new setup going, a new studio. Cute kid curls. What's this? What do you got? Hold on. Oh, he's got a whole oh, new setup. Hi. Wait, I can't see. Scroll, go down, go down, down, down. Oh, look at this. Wait, wait. Oh, no. look at that. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, my God. That is so cute. <laughs> Wow, it's like, hello, like, like Look at this new setup you've got there. <laughs> yeah. You got a photo of me and you there. Look at that. What an awesome setup he's got there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got the oh, monitors. He's got uh, a microphone. You're ready to rock and roll here. Yeah. You got your own, like, Sunday Night Stew setup going over there. <laughs> Indeed. 
The red microwave is out of our life. <laughs> Fuck that <laughs> microwave. So how are you doing? Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Now here's the trick. You got to look at the camera. There, oh, there you go. There, yeah, there you go. Look, now we can see you. Hi. Does he actually have a cameraman? Is there someone holding yeah, the camera? Yeah, he's got his own crew over there. Oh, what my God. Mr. Twitch is blowing <laughs> up. Mr. Twitch has got it going on. He's got a crew. It's like Clarence <laughs> Obama and Mr. Twitch making moves. <laughs> Keep it hustling. Twitch, did you have a crazy weekend? No. No, you were bored as fuck. Yeah. Amen to that. Well, now, what, what are we going to do about that? We need to find a hobby, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you tried uh, collecting stamps? No. Good. Very boring hobby. <laughs> uh, now, Adam Rodness is a hobby enthusiast. Hobby enthusiast. And uh, this is uh, this is Mr. Twitch here, yep. who's looking for a potential hobby Ooh. that can fill his boring weekends. What do you I think? have a great hobby for you. Okay, what? When I was a lad. A young, okay. A younger lad. When you were a lad in the school play? When Aladdin? I was a lad in the school play. When I was the understudy for a lad. Of course, young play. church played Jafar. <laughs> uh, that, you did a good Jafar, I remember. He, do, he does a great Jafar. Funny you say that. Um, I used to do these things. I used to go to this place called Race World. And like you used to like get these uh, motor uh, little cars that you build from scratch. Okay, well, that's not happening. Okay, them. he's Why? not going to go race cars at the st at a store. The remote ones. It doesn't exist, okay? They're fun. I know so you, box you, you box Oh, 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 oh. What about devil sticks? What's a devil stick? Do you remember devil sticks? No. You, like, used to make these sticks, and there's two sticks in either hand, and there's, like, a big stick in the middle, and you have to, like, go what? bounce it back the and Canadians forth. Are and try that's to a do fucking these, like, awful hobby. Things. Those oh are two God. awful hobbies. Oh, 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 oh. No. Church, do you know any hobbies? Church? Church. Uh, church? Me? Oh, sorry. Church. We're looking for hobbies for a kid? Uh, no, we're looking for hobbies for a wonderful young man. Like sports, maybe? Whatever. We got to yeah. get a hobby, a real hobby. Oh, oh, I know. I know now. What? Uh, sports. Sports. I think you... Uh, team, Actually, team sports, uh, I'm signed up for a class. Oh, what class? Rest wrestling class. Look at oh! this. Oh! Wrestling class. You're going to learn how to wrestle? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, you got inspired. Yeah. You want to be the next Colt Cabana? No. You want to be the first Mr. Twitch? <laughs> there you go. It's, uh, it's college wrestling. It's college wrestling. Whoa. It... Are you sure you want to do that? He's like yes. He's like Rudy. Wouldn't you rather take up cooking or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. What if you get hurt, God forbid? He is a good cook, though. Are you are you are you oh, no. aren't you worried? I don't want you to get hurt. No, I won't get hurt. But aren't they like big tough wrestlers? Yeah, so I'm kind of scrawny. But I used to be a wrestler. Waiter. But the good news, you, I don't think I think they just put you in a matchup against people your own weight, though, don't they? Yeah. I don't know about this wrestling thing. Maybe, maybe you should give it a try if that's what you truly want to do. I support you. You know, I, I unconditionally I support you in whatever your decisions are, Mr. Twitch. But I'll tell you what, I would prefer it if I you do had have some something a little play. maybe safer than wrestling. But if, if wrestling is your game and you're not afraid to get knocked around, go for it. Why not? Yeah. Indeed. Uh, Cable, you have uh, a few hobbies. What are, you, what are your recommendations? My Actually, hobbies? Yeah. Uh, I, just, I do video work. I'll just, just edit videos. All right. That's actually cool. Yeah, well, I like stuff like looks that. Looks like he's got a setup there going. He's almost ready to go. He's got his own little studio over there. Clarence there Obama, uh, his hobbies include hating Tyrese. <laughs> uh, That's but, a lifestyle. Uh, is there any hobbies uh, other than hating Tyrese that maybe you can recommend to our <laughs> our friend here? I was going to say anything in the sports, anything, you know, arts, anything in the arts, anything of that nature. Acting, arts. drawing, painting, sculpting, anything like that. Uh, sports, basketball, hockey, soccer, wrestling. You know, for me, I'll tell you. These guys have all been giving you great advice, Mr. Twitch, but I'm going to give you a real man's Actually, answer here. Could, well, well, just, like let, my just, just, let, just let me get to this for a second. Because I'm going to give you a real manser right here because, you know, I can speak for Jay Love and myself and Nate Dog and the rest of the men watching and Adam Rodness and Young Church and Cable Guy and Clarence. You know, if you're truly bored on the weekends and you need to do something to kill time, uh, masturbation is a good hobby. <laughs> Amen. I mean, literally, it takes up to 40 minutes, depending on uh, how you can play a game and test how long you go for. You know, different. You can aim it. You can, you can aim it at places and make a game out of it. Uh, 
you know, there's uh, <laughs> it's just a nice hobby to have. It's good. It keeps you it keeps your uh, keeps, keeps you know. It's a winner. Of, it's a winner of a suggestion, in my opinion. <laughs> Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it. Mr. Twitch, do you have any shout-outs you want to give on this very memorable call? And I wish you the best of luck in your cure for boredom. <laughs> that was way too much. Anyways, uh, my nephew Tyler, uh, he had a birthday recently. Okay, so happy, happy birthday, birthday, Tyler. Uh, new viewers, Gretchen and uh, Master FQ. New viewers! New, 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 new! New! Big Cat, Cloud, J Love, Chris Pranks, Tina... Cra Jeremy and Craigslist Mickey, you Stu, you Jeff for answering the phone, Clarence, Church, Colt, Holland! Holland! Holland. It's murder! <laughs> and I wrote all that down, too. That's very good. That's Mr. Twitch, everybody. Mr. Twitch, future wrestling Super superstar. He's going to have the strongest wrists in all of, the res in all of wrestling. I just, <laughs> I just gave you a very good wrist exercise for your wrestling. <laughs> All right. We'll speak to you soon, Twitch. Full show. All right. That's Mr. Twitch, everybody. We have one final call, and then we've got know. a call of the night. We're almost in double overtime here, folks. The you things we do here, it's almost time for another pill. Ah, that's true. We, we may have lost our other call. We lost our call? We may have lost our last call. All right. Well, so then should I wrap it up now? Uh, we might have to. I mean, even though it doesn't feel as good when you wrap it up, I should wrap it up. Yes, you should wrap it up. Didn't you want me to do it right now? Like right now? So let's do it right now. I'll do the thing. Grab somebody sexy, tell him hey. Okay, well, you didn't get the call back. I was trying to stall by singing some Neo. Yeah, it didn't uh, work. We lost him. You lost L. Alexandra, did you? Wait a minute. Hello? You there? <laughs> Caller? Are you there? Hello? 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 Nope, not there. All right, well, that's going to do it then. We have someone calling. <laughs> you want to just take that call instead? Sure, let's just wrap it up right here. Sunday night stew. Hey. Hey, who's this? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Who's this? Someone who just celebrated a birthday recently, actually. Yeah. A, mi a milestone, a milestone birthday. <laughs> now, how was your birthday? Um, it was awesome. What, what I threw so much rum in the Bahamas. You went to the Bahamas? Yeah, I went to the Bahamas for my birthday. It was yeah, I fucking fantastic. And I went to Vegas. And you went to Vegas. That's a wild birthday. Yes. So, it was amazing. did you get wasted? Did you get chocolate wasted? Um, I got coconut wasted. It was Whoa. chocolate wasted. <laughs> what was that cable? I it was chocolate wasted. Oh, okay. Just making sure I heard. <laughs> I heard there. So, uh, you got you had a good time. Did you uh, did you go to any like night? Was it like an all inclusive one of those like drink everything but the water but type of things? Say what? I got you a present. You got me a present. Ooh. Yes. Damn. I brought back Cuban cigars and rum. Wow. Whoa. Hella illegal. <laughs> Hella. Hella. Damn. You're going to crack those Cuban cigars and roll blunts with them or what? <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, Cuban blunts. Them Jose Canseco's. <laughs> hey, so, so did, you get any, did you get any gifts for your, uh, for your birthday? Um, I got a beer pong table. A, a pink, pink one from my dad. Your dad got you a pink beer pong table. Yeah. That is the kind of fathering that I like to see. <laughs> because, Jeff, do you have that video of that father, that other father that you didn't want to play? Yes. Because I'm sure everyone has seen this by now, but there's a father that is not, is, it's, it's the opposite of the way that your father is. This father would never buy a beer pong table for, uh, th what's going on now? <laughs> uh, 
this 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 father would never buy a beer pong table for their daughter. Can I show you this piece of business or what? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's check it out right now. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's uh, February 7th, 2012. This is for my daughter, Hannah. And more importantly, for all her friends on Facebook who thought that her little rebellious post was cute. And for all you parents out there that think your you know, kids don't post bad things on Facebook, well, I want to read you one. I took off my daughter's Facebook wall. And she thought she'd be smart by uh, blocking her parents and being able to see it. Hannah, you were grounded for about three months for doing something very similar to this. And I would have thought, with a father that worked in IT for a living, you'd have better sense than to do it again. But I just spent about six hours yesterday fixing your computer for you, upgrading it for you, and spent about $130 on software. And today, I run across a post on your Facebook page that you didn't think I'd be able to see. So since you want to hide it from everyone, I'm going to share it with everybody. This is called To My Parents, by the way. To my parents, I'm not your damn slave. It's not my responsibility to clean up your shit. We have a cleaning lady for a reason. Her name is Linda, not Hannah. If you want coffee, get off your ass and make it yourself. If you want a garden, shovel the fertilizer yourself. Don't sit back on your ass and watch me do it. If you walk in the house and get mud all over the floor that I just cleaned, be my guest. But clean it up after you're done getting shit everywhere. I'm tired of picking up after you. You tell me at least once a day that I need to get a job. <laughs> I love the, the, this part. You could just pay me for all the shit that I do around the house. Seriously? Are you kidding me? I'll get to that in a minute. Every day when I get home from school, I have to do dishes, clean the countertops, all the floors, make all the beds, do the laundry, and get the trash. I'm not even going to mention all the work I do around your clinic. And if I don't do all that every day, I get grounded. You know how hard it is to keep up with chores and schoolwork? It's freaking crazy. I go to sleep at 10 every night because I'm too tired to stay up any longer and do anything else. I have to get up at 5 in the morning to get ready for school. On the, the weekends, I have to sleep with my door locked so my little brother won't come get me up at 6. That part's true. This is all true. This is what she's saying. And I'm tired, of all, I'm tired of this bullshit. Next time I have to pour a cup of coffee, I'm going to flip shit. I have no idea how I have a life. I'm going to hate to see the day when you get too old to wipe your ass and you call me asking for help. I won't be there. Signed, your pissed kid, Hannah. I'm going to address a couple of these. We have a lady that cleans the house for us as a favor to trade off, off some services. She is not, and you will never again refer to her as a cleaning lady. That lady works harder in one day than you ever have in your life. Pay you for the chores, you, seriously, pay you for chores that you're supposed to do around the house. You come home from school, you have a list of chores that are on the wall because you can't remember them if, if you don't. They are. Um, sweep the living room and kitchen floor, which total will take you about three minutes. If the countertops are dirty, wipe them down, which takes about a minute. If the dishwasher is full and been run, empty it and put the dishes away. If it's not, just be sure all the glasses and stuff are in the dishwasher. If you have any laundry of your own, do it. And if your bed is unmade, do it. You don't have to do my laundry. You don't have to make my bed. You don't have to make the guest bed. You have to make your own bed. Once a month or so, I guess you probably have to make the guest bed. But, um, pay, pay you for chores? Are you out of your mind? You are 15 going on 16 years old. You want things for your laptop. You want a new battery. You want a new cord. You want a new camera. You want a new phone. You want a new iPod. But you won't get off your lazy ass to get to even look for a job. The only job that you've applied to is the one I made you apply to because I got the application for you. The, um, and you've been too lazy to even carry that back. When I was your age, I had moved out of the house, lived on my own, went to college while in high school, 
worked two jobs, was a volunteer fireman, and still went to school. Your responsibilities include waking up on time and getting on the bus. That's the end of your responsibility each day. You don't have that hard a life, but you're about to. I warned you months ago about uh, what would happen if you did something like this on Facebook again. The last time you were grounded, and quite frankly, I forgot now, but it was for something fairly childish and stupid. Um, you know, we took away the computer, that kind of thing. No cell phone, no Facebook. Um, and I told you, if it ever happened again, that it'd be a lot worse. And I was really close that day to putting a bullet through your laptop. Now, this time, I just spent all day yesterday, blew half my day, upgrading your laptop, putting new software on it, um, spent about 130 bucks in software to get everything, you know, to the way that you want to have it for school. You don't have to worry about buying a new laptop battery. You don't have to worry about buying a new power cord. You don't have to worry about buying a new camera because you won't be using any of them until probably college. Um, I don't know how to say how disappointed I am in you and how disrespectful you were to every single adult in your life. But kid, you got it easy. Way easy. It's about to get harder. It's about to get a whole lot harder today. Because you're not going to see this, and for all I know, you might not ever see it. But as soon as I'm done, I'm going to post this on your Facebook wall so all those kids that thought it was cool for how rebellious you were can see what happens. And all the parents may get an idea to, to put a boot up their own kid's ass. Because all this, I mean, there was more curse words in that one post. Just uh, ridiculous. Not happening. Disrespectful to me, your mother, your stepmother, your family, your friends, and yourself. So I'm, I'm going to put a stop to it. And I'm going to put a stop to it right now. That right there is your laptop. You see it's out here on the ground. This right here is my 45. That was the first round. These are exploding ho hollow point rounds from, uh, yeah, and you have to pay me back for these too because these are about a dollar a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. And I, after that comment you're, you made about your mom, your mom told me to be sure I put one in there for her. So that one's from her. And if I got one left, I got two left. Now I'm out. So, just for the record, whenever you're not grounded, whenever year that happens to be, you can have a new laptop when you buy a new laptop. And when you pay me back the $130 for the software I, I spent on yours yesterday. Hope you've enjoyed your little fiasco on Facebook. Hope it was worth all this. Um, have a good day, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Clearly no beer pong table for that, for, for young Hannah. Oh, wow. Fuck. <laughs> that was fabulous. Yes. Can you imagine? Oh, can you... Um... Yeah. Oh my God. P perhaps one of I have no words. <laughs> that guy's pissed. He's hella pissed. Hello. He is. <laughs> this is yeah. bald. Oh my God. <laughs> he just shot that girl's laptop. I want to know what neighborhood you're in where you can just fire off nine shots like that and nobody even thinks twice about it. He's still I mean, like, if, <laughs> I mean, where I come from in a nice Jewish area of the suburbs, we hear bullets <laughs> like that. I'm hiding under my bed. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I hope that uh, you had a great birthday. I did. Thank you. Are you going to be having any sort of celebration in uh, in Los Angeles? Um. Yeah. I don't know where I want to go yet, though. Well, you'll let us know. And if I mean, if if you have a be if you have a beard party, I'm actually ready to go. Oh, by the way, um, why haven't you shaved that shit? Uh, if you want to do wow. it, wow. I've, I've had I've had a. It's been really rough because I'm actually I'm actually left-handed in real life, and I uh, I broke every bone in my left hand, 
and it's been very difficult for me. So I figured, you know, if I was going to suffer... Can I was you gonna... do the right one? Well, I can, but I just felt like I was going to make a statement. Okay. I was just curious. I was just going to make a statement. You know, I felt like I was looking too cute and adorable before, and I needed to go for a more rugged look. Maybe it would help me, you know, secure three lovely ladies watching on a... On a... Whoa! It is double overtime! Double overtime! Double trouble overtime! All right, Jeff. Thank you. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps we can have a shaving party. <laughs> no? Shaving party? I can shave. <laughs> you can shave. We can all shave. Do you need to shave? Do you, need to sh you don't shave your legs or shave anything? No, I get it waxed. Yeah, okay. I'm completely waxed. Well, I can get uh, my face waxed. Couldn't I? <laughs> do it for you. Yeah, I'll do it for you. If you let me, like, videotape the Sure. Process. You guys would want to wax my face? Sure. sure. All right. We could do that. It can be arranged. They're like, yeah, we're going to show him. We're going to wax his fucking face. <laughs> He's going to be in so much pain, it's going to be hilarious. Listen, any pain that will take away from the pain that is going through here, I'm all for it. You know? I'm all for it. I'll bring you some rum. It'll take all your pains away. I promise. Listen, I've heard that rum and pills is a great, a great cocktail. <laughs> Sounds like one. It is. I just, I may have just invented it. Uh, girls, do you have any shout-outs you want to give on this lovely night? I fucking heart you. Thank you. <laughs> she doesn't only heart girls. She also hearts Stu. Oh yeah. Wait. Time the fuck out. Okay. Time the fuck out. I'm out. Where? <laughs> in my closet full of girls with bows on their head. I mean, to me, it looks like you're doing a pretty good job uh, over there yourself. Uh, I mean, I would like to get on, put a bow on myself and get in the closet and, uh, and uh, you know what I mean? There's some, doesn't look like, it needs, I think, <laughs> you're doing fine. Your pimp, heart, your, your pimp hand is very strong, young lady. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's got her pimp hand strong. <laughs> All right, to all the people out there, I hope you've learned. There are good-looking people that watch this show, if one thing has been proven tonight. And I'm not just talking about Gretchen. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Sunday Night Stew. Oh, we're done? That's Cable Guy Jeff, whose announcement is that he's taking his family to Reno. Clarence Obama on tour with Big Sean and Trey Songs taking time out of his busy schedule. <laughs> of course, all the time in the world for you, Stu. Adam Rodness dates my sister, and he should not be looking at Elle and her friends the way that he is right now. I'm <laughs> feeling quite uncomfortable by the way that he's staring at the monitor. Salacious. Young Church is here as well somewhere. And I am Stu Stone, and guess what, folks? I am out, I am out, and I am going to tell you that there's a replay of this show that's coming up right after this. <laughs> Man, these are the best I'll audience ever. Having. I need to just get them to come sit front row and, and, and just do, like, <laughs> jokes all day. You know when you go to the doctor's office, the magazines are so old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing about flying is the food is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and what's with these cab drivers? Hello, English. <laughs> Tip your waitress, ladies and gentlemen. I am Stu Stone, and I am adorable, despite what these girls think. This beer is great. <laughs> I'll speak to you guys and see you later. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I made it well. 
Not exactly, but I'm making it happen. Getting paid for the rapping. A good old fashioned daily overnight success. After 25 years of blood, sweat, tears, no less. The following is brought to you by perseverance. And how you shouldn't judge a book by its appearance. About going for the gusto and don't fear shit. Yeah, your boy's yelling, but no one hears shit. It's about that time that I get heard. I'm killing every syllable, you're feeling every word. I got him saying, damn, man, it's absurd how this her nerd can twist them verbs. Burn them herbs, kiss them birds, get little Miss Muffet to get them curves. That was pretty much it, the spit of the year. One hit and it all gets shit from here.